Good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. I'm John Cole Morgan and we've got the fabulous Faye Clements in today. Really, really excited about that. Lots of beautiful things being made. But welcome, you're our early birders, so you get to see the very first of our early birds today. Not the first, there's two, not two of them. But our this is the most fabulous, fabulous early bird today. I am loving this. Anybody, I love a tin. I love a really good tin. And this is just such a beautiful, beautiful tin. And look at this on the inside. You've got eight different spools of, um, <clears throat> Pardon me, you got the echo blowing straight in my face. Sorry about that. The um, got all these beautiful different colors and they're the basics that you would use for everything that you're doing for sewing. You've got this gorgeous white. I love my white thread. All of these are 100% polyester. You're getting 100 meters in each one of these. Getting all the different colors here. Black, brown, navy. We're gonna call this olive green maybe? What are they calling that one? It's number 28824 if you're looking for it. Oh, love a bit of red with there as well. And of course, can't beat that beautiful, beautiful grey there. Absolutely gorgeous. 100 metres in each of those. So that's 800 metres of it. And I love sewing with polyester. I love sewing with polyester because look at this. It's got such a great strength to it. It doesn't matter how much you tug on it, it's not gonna break. It is really, really good. So personally, I only ever sew with polyester thread. I know other people only ever sew with cotton. I prefer my polyester because I know that that isn't gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be a nice, consistent seam. It's really, really great quality, these. Gushman are fantastic. These are £1.87 a spool today in the combination uh, for the £14.99. So out of, did you say it was £1.87 there? Yeah? £1.87 there and it's just such a great array of colours and I love the fact that we've gone a bit darker with these colours today love that having a nice little bit of darkness but then you've got your light little t tail over here as well and then you've just got this nice big pop of red right in the middle there almost matches my shirt almost almost there such a great thing but then when you're finished a great tint I love a good tin and it's a nice size, especially if you're going to be doing English paper piecing. It's perfect. You pack in six to ten of the um, hexagons you're going to be doing, all your thread, your needles. Well, you can tell. You can just pop a thread in there, no problem at all. And you can pack loads in there and just take it as your nice little sewing kit. If you're doing all your traveling and going off to your um, mobile homes and different places you want to go and stay. We had a lovely lady messaging in about going to her, her caravan the other day as well. Perfect. You can pop everything you need to in the tin when it's left over. And it's such a great, great tin. Really, really great. There's such a great design on there as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely tin. And also the detailing on the side. I think these are really, really sweet. Great thought has gone into these. And all of them again, when before you finish using them, they store so beautifully in here. Really, really beautifully. And 800 meters of thread. I know I go through that quite quickly, but I do a lot of sewing. But this is a huge amount of thread. 800 meters is a lot. You really would. And the good thing is I use these both for my bobbin as well as my top thread. So it's absolutely fine using in, in both of them because I just find you get a nice even stitch by doing that. And doesn't that just look so delicious like that? I love it. Really, really beautiful tin. It just looks so pretty like that. Absolutely love that. Oh my goodness, I'm hearing already, I haven't even finished explaining about it, that 10% of the stock of this has gone already. I'm not surprised. Such a great, great product. And $14.99. Can't go wrong with that. Such great deal on that. And these are the colours. I know a lot of you do like to know the colours on there, so all the numbers are on the back there. I'll read these out to you because I know some people want them. They are on the website as well, but just in case. It's treble zero for the black, 800 for the white, 722 for the um, creamy, I'm going to call that tan. Um, and then you've got 696 for that deep, beautiful chocolate brown, uh, 38 for the grey, 824 for the... Um, Olive and then 339 for the navy and 156. But one thing I forgot to show you on these, which I love about the Gutman thread, is I, I love the shines. Look at that lovely little shine. Just on the grey there, you can just see it's got that beautiful soft shine on there as well. And you know then, when you're doing your stitching, you're going to have that great, great feel of, I just find Gutman really luxurious in that way. And you've got a lovely tin at the end of the day as well. 
Love that. $14.99 there for eight spools, 100 meters on each one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remind you how it is you can best buy with us. Oh, first of all, if you wanna get in touch with us, make sure you drop us a line. We've got many ways of doing that. The best way of doing that is our email address, studio at sewingstreet.com. That's the easiest way of doing it because um, our producer and director are busy monitoring those at all times. Failing that, we've got our Facebook page, which is the Sewing Street TV page. Now I'm taking a leaf out of the lovely Debbie's book today and I've got my phone with me today and I'm gonna be able to read all the messages out of the, um, that you've posted on the Facebook uh, uh, Sewing Street TV community section on there. Whatever you post on there, I'll be able to read out today. So any messages you've got, any questions for Faye, we'd love to hear from you. And you'll have them live and in touch immediately there today. Now, if you want to know how to shop with us today, uh, here's a little reminder. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back. We've got the lovely Faye. It's Hello. so nice to have yeah, you. Nice to be Welcome here again. back. I haven't seen you for a while. No, I'm, it's the first time we've worked together. I know, I'm very excited. Yeah, so. But I'm loving your dress. Yeah, the GO dress. It's really uh, pretty. Nice, yeah. Yeah. And you've got some wonderful fabrics on there as well. I think mm -hmm. we're going to see a picture now of the pattern for this. You've called this the Geo dress. It's the Geo dress. Oh, there's me this morning. <laughs> Love it. In, my, look in my trainers. <laughs> but it really is very it does, trendy. It, it does works look trendy. Really yeah, it works really well. It looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Not that I'm trendy on any level <laughs> to talk about such things. But you look really, really Thank lovely. You. Did you enjoy yeah. making it? Yeah, I mean, it, what's great about this is like it doesn't actually have any fastenings. So it's one that you just pull over your head. So if you're worried about putting a zip in, you don't oh, need to, so, so no fastening So that's whatsoever. quite a good beginner one as yeah. well. Mm -hmm, definitely. Oh, brilliant. So this fabric you've got here to show us, is that the one you've used yeah, so, at the moment? Uh, so yeah, so this is the one that I uh, obviously made the sample in. I don't know what the, uh, it's like a crepey oh. material this one. I don't know what the composition is of this. I don't know if we can. Do we have that, Leah? Do we have that? We're just checking out the website yeah. now as well. Yeah, oh, there we go. Sometimes yeah. we have a couple of little gremlins on the website. Yeah. You know, when you press the button on your mm -hmm. computer and it doesn't quite, yeah. quite go as quickly as you so like. So yeah, lots of... It's a look, lovely look, design. Look on, the, on the screen there. looks, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, the colours are picking up really well. So yeah, obviously, multitude of colours. Well, a friend of here. mine, she's very much into the uh, British transport um, buses. Mm. And this reminds me of one of the bus seats <laughs> on there. Yeah. But they're so yeah. in fashion at the that, moment. Yeah. <laughs> they're really, really in fashion yeah. at the minute. I mean, normally, I probably would look at this and, and wouldn't think of picking this. But actually, you know, all it in one dress, it looks really, really, well. Really, really well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, one thing I would say about this, I mean, it, it drapes lovely, as you can see uh, from the photo. Um, d it does fray a little bit. So with this one, I would I would say you maybe need to finish the edges off slightly. So would you use a it. pinking shear to, fix, you, to yeah, try and help could you use a pinking shear or overlock or a little zigzag around the edge, whatever you Brilliant, that's a good prefer. idea, yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's, that's the one I've uh, done my little sample in. Fabulous. Now, how much fabric are we getting in this bundle? Three meters in this, so that's forty six ninety nine then for the three meters, and it really is pretty. Now, did you have much left over when you oh, made I, the dress? Absolutely loads. Oh, yeah. brilliant! Because yeah. how much do you need for this pattern? Do we know? Oh, I don't know off the top oh, of no my problem. head. Because I know that the um, these ones have got the on the back of the pattern there. We may have that on as a picture later. I mean, the one I've made in the the sample is uh, is a size ten. And uh, so I had plenty left over. So if you, if you are choosing one of the bigger sizes, there's more than enough fabric Perfect. there. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I think we're going to get a picture now coming in of, there we go. There we are. 
So we've got the finished measurements there on that. It's the geodress that you're making at the moment. It's got pockets as it well. It does have pockets. Oh, we love good pockets. They're <laughs> brilliant. So that pattern today, it covers sizes 8 to 26, and that's $14.99. And it really does look lovely. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and how we, and now we can see it there on the diagram is that the pockets are kind of attached to the sleeve. So I'm, I'm going to demo that today oh, for you because it's a raglan sleeve, as you can see there from that, from that diagram. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take you through all that process. To Brilliant. Have to put them in. And we're very lucky because that's a brand new pattern to us today. Mm. You're the yeah. first person Am to I? bring it oh, to right. us. Okay. Well, Brilliant. You're setting the benchmark now. Mm, right, okay. And $14.99, such a great price for that pattern. Now we have got other fabric options as well, other than the what are we calling this fabric that the um Faye's got her dress out of? Oh, we're calling it Queen of Sweden. Queen of Sweden is that the I one? think that's this the floral one, one isn't is that the floral? it? Floral. Brilliant. I Just didn't know it was that one that. out of the way. That's very festive, isn't it? Queen of Sweden. I love that. It's now again you're getting three meters of the fabric there, but look at the detailing on it. And I just love the way it drapes it's as well. It's a gorgeous drape. Yeah. Very good drape. It's a bit, um, it's probably not as heavy. I mean, not that the first one was heavy, but it's it probably even lighter than, than the one I've done this in. Um, and yeah, I'm going to demo in this as well. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's got a lovely, lovely drape. It's got a bit thinner, but yeah, a lovely drape on this one. But if only we had touch vision, because that just, it looks really lovely, but yeah. it feels good as well, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I think as well, it'd be really cooling as well. Because it's oh of course yeah it it's getting really hot is, these know, days as well so um, nice I'm a bit hot under the lights well. here wearing this yeah <laughs> they're all LED I yeah. hate to tell you so there's <laughs> no heat on them it's because I made Paul turn the aircon off yeah. <laughs> oh we've had a message in from Tracy morning oh, Tracy morning Tracy she's saying my shirt is absolutely gorgeous I've done sixty shows not worn the same shirt twice and none of them are mine all my husband's. <laughs> Excellent early bird. Isn't it great? She loves her Gooseman threads. And what beautiful fabric to make this geo dress. Aren't they stunning? I'm really loving this. Lovely to hear from you. Have a great day. Um, now we've still got one more colour as more? well. Yeah. Because this one is also quite... Every time I see lilac, I just think of really posh events. <laughs> I don't know why. You like just cut or something. Exactly. But it's like a wedding yeah, or something like so that. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's a really beautiful really colour. Really soft that. lilac -y. Really, really pretty, pretty. colour. Yeah, and again, this one, it's actually really lovely and soft, this one, compared it's to the beautiful. others. It's, it's got a lovely soft... So if you like your fabric, and that one's about nice. the same thickness, is it in between these two? Yeah, I'd say it's, it's it's similar to to the floral, maybe just slightly heavier possibly. But um, if you like your fabrics to feel nice, this feels really lovely. The texture is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> <Thank you. coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry, that crept up. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. It's that dust blowing sorry, around that from the fan, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that is such a beautiful colour, though. It's. Really that pretty lilac soft is lilac. So yeah, beautiful. really, really feminine. But you can just imagine a really lavish hat with that, mm. can't you? Yeah, and again, because you get, you will have a lot left over, so um, you can use it for all sorts. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, accessorising those with some beautiful jewellery, and of mm -hmm. course, Jewellery Maker is our sister channel. It's such a great way to be able to accessorise that mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Love that. Now again, that's forty six ninety nine for three meters of fabric. There. Do you know what the width on it is, Liam? Is it 150 or? It looks as though it's 150. I think, um, I'm not sure whether this one was, when I was cutting it, it was slightly narrower. I might, might need to double check that on the, whether that was slightly narrower yeah. than the other. It'll all be on yeah. the website. Do check the website, www.sewingstreet.com. And as you go down, you'll have the live vision with me on now. Hello. And then just beneath that, you'll have all of the items on today's show. So it's 140 centimetres right. is the lilac in width. And we're just double checking the others. But it'll all be on the website. All the products from today's show are all there. And if you want a sneak peek about what's coming up, I'm just going to say 11 o'clock, have a look at those fabrics. Mm. Have you seen that beautiful colour ray over there? I'm really excited oh, about yes. that. Oh, yes, yeah. Mm. yeah. Sorry, <laughs> can't show you just yet. You'll have to wait till 11. But if you check on the website going down, you'll see everything that's coming out. So the Queen of Sweden, the floral fabric, is 145 centimetres. So that's right. a little bit wider okay. than your lilac. Mm -hmm. 
So then, and you've, we're doing the geo dress at the moment, aren't yep, we? Yeah, so, so the geo dress is what you're wearing yeah, at the so moment. Yeah, so what I'm wearing, obviously you can't see it because I'm behind the table here, but <laughs> I don't know if they're going to put it. But it's, the... we got that wonderful still of you earlier yeah. on this morning. And this geo pattern is fourteen ninety nine today, brand new to us today. Doesn't it look beautiful? Oh, you just yeah. look so happy. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I yeah. love it. And then this is the pattern that we've got today, the geo dress. No zips. It looks really sort of, it's by the sound of it, really beginner friendly. If mm -hmm. People haven't yeah. sewn yeah. Yeah, so a dress if, before. If you're one of those people that like, you're terrified that. of zips, um, you know, it's, it's a great, great one to do. Yeah. Do you know I've only ever put one zip in one thing ever? Really? And yeah. it was perfect. And I've so why never, do any more? I've never done another one. That's it. It was an invisible <laughs> You'll never zip. It. <laughs> I, it was an invisible zip. I did it at a workshop. I thought, that's it. I'm yeah, done. My done. zips are done forever now. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I've done it once. It's Brilliant. perfect. I've got to do it again. So now you're going to do your demo now. Yes, yes. Do you want so, to tell us a bit about you? You come down from North Yorkshire. Yeah, I live in in uh, sunny North Yorkshire. Well, not very sunny at the moment, but yeah, North no, Yorkshire. No, it's very sunny. Yeah, today. yeah. So yeah, I live in born and bred in North Yorkshire. My background is uh, costume making. So I've worked. Fab. I've made stuff for television and theatre. Oh my. Um, yeah, and uh, so who's the most famous person you've made something for? Oh God. Well, I've, I've worked on. Some higher end TV shows like Outlander. I've worked at some, um, one of the pay for pre channels. Um, yeah, so I've, I've made stuff for that. So that was 18th century. So I was making lots of Gosh, that frock coats. Incredible. Oh, yeah, it was an amazing job. So I made. So your love of, of sewing goes quite deep then, if that, yeah. you made a career out of yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, well. initially, I, I always enjoyed it at school, but I, I kind of went off a different tangent, you know, like you do sometimes. You, you kind of go in one direction and you think actually. That's not for me. So I had a bit of a career change in my twenties and mm -hmm. decided to go back to uni. I did fashion design, and then um, I made the switch into costume. And uh, yeah, so. well, that's a nice way to do it as yeah. well. And yeah. you enjoy it? Oh, absolutely! Yeah, I love, I love sewing. I love, I love the making. I'm, I mean, I can design and I do design, but uh, the making is is my passion really. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And you're going to be making this out of yeah. The so Queen I'm going to what do you call it? Queen of Sweden. Queen of Sweden. Queen of Sweden like fabrics. That, yeah. It's a good name. It is. Um, yeah, so I've got the instru I've actually got the instructions in front of me. The reason why I've done this is just because this pattern, I mean, it's, it's raglan sleeve and it will work with quite unusual shapes. And they're not it's not a traditional dress pattern. So you would look at it and think, oh, that's a sleeve. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's the whip, blah, blah, blah. It's because we're working, it's almost like diamond shapes that we're working with. So I don't know if you can see my pattern there. Or oh, it's the, very good finding these. Yeah. Um, so this example here is is the sleeve. So if you look at the shape of the sleeve there. Gosh, that's not usual, it's is it? really unusual. So I just thought this would be nice to have here just as a visual reference. So as I'm sewing, you, you can understand what I'm doing. Uh, so I'll refer to this uh, every now and then. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to make up the pocket. And the pocket has to then be attached to the sleeve. And that's probably, I'd say, out of all of it, that's the more the trickiest part of it, I'd say, the more challenging part, but I'll, I'll show you how to do it all. Because uh, the sleeve, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So the sleeve then, the pocket kind of fits in here. Oh, Underneath, nice. there's a seam that goes along here and your pocket attaches in there. So that's the bit I'm going to demo. Perfect. Okay. That sounds really complicated as well. It, well see, I've never made dresses, yeah. oh, so I right. don't know. So. <laughs> well, it's all the <laughs> but it sounds quite complicated. It's, a, it's all notched and marked where you have to sew. So again, I'll talk you through that. where Because there's bits where you need to sew up and not go right to the end. So I'll show you them bits. Brilliant. Okay. And even if people, well, the good thing is, because is we've got the YouTube page, people can go back and see it Absolutely, yeah, time. I'd highly recommend. But it's in the yeah. pattern as well. Yeah, so it does, it, it does explain it. But yeah, if, if you're struggling, then do watch this back because it's it's a good one to watch yeah and they're so good because they label it who's in and what dress yeah. it is mm -hmm. the main feature mm -hmm. of the thing yeah. as well it's great so um i think i'm going to be working on the left sleeve so if i get my pattern i do have the pattern here it's a bit crumpled because i've been using it obviously so you've got that's each... a good thing with the patterns you can use them over and yeah. over again mm -hmm. so uh so i made the size 10 so i've cut a size 10 here so this is what i originally used so this is what your pocket will look like so it's quite a deep pocket okay which and is it, great so this is your your top part of your pocket and it, it kind of drops on top of the pocket bag like that okay so when we sew it uh we're going to sew all the way around here and we've got a mark there i don't know if you, can, you can see that there so there's a mark there and marks here so we don't sew all the way to the top we need to leave these edges open because then we need to attach it down here to another part. Okay, so that's the bit I'm going to demo first. So, in my fabric. I was going to say, I think I might need to see this in fabric. Yeah. And because this, I mean, it's a lovely fabric, but it does move, it does move a does, little bit. Yes. Yeah. So, 
And the way we lay this on, it's right sides together. So it pops on that way. Okay, so we can see that there. So you can see it matches there with my pattern. And I've marked my dots here and here. So when I sew, it's going to be from that dot all the way. And that around. dot is that black dot in the pattern you've got yeah. over there. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So you've got yeah. them on both sides. Uh, I do, yeah. They match up there. So I will just grab my pins and we'll start pinning away. So yeah, it's really important with this pattern, if it has a dot or an asterisk, uh, make sure you uh, mark it because uh, that's how it's going to go together correctly. Okay, so we'll just start pinning this down. And you might want to as well. Uh, I might ask you just to bring it a bit closer oh, yep. to us. Oh yeah, just move this over, that's fine. So you can... Thank you. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah. There we go. That's better. So remember, we're working with the left side here. So this will be the edge that's uh, part of the side seam. So you, as your hand goes into the pocket, it's that way. Love that. And it's a one and a half centimetre seam all the way around. I haven't marked my seams on here. Um, I'm just going to kind of follow it on the machine. But do do mark them if you need to with a heat erasable pen or um, a bit of chalk. Oh, right, OK. So yeah, just working my way around. And just be careful as well because this is a curve. So you might want to add a few. Curves terrifying. Do they? I think the trick again, is... Again, I've only ever done one. Yeah. It worked perfectly. I've never <laughs> it was done perfect. Never. I don't need to do it again. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so when you come to sewing the curve, you might want to just slow down slightly and just take a little bit more time and care over it. Again, because this fabric, it's, it, it's a lovely fabric, nice and floaty mm. and drapey, but sometimes they don't behave themselves. So uh, uh, just slow things down a little bit and take your time. I'm going to start from this end. When I do it. So when I, when I first start sewing this, let me just make sure I've lined this up correctly. So I'm going to start from this end and stitch around that way. I do love these pins. They're good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Really easy to use. Okay, so we'll take that over to the machine. And I've just got it on a on a standard straight stitch. Perfect. And now, what length? What what width I've got it on, do you do? I've just got it's on about two point eight here. Fine. So two and a half, three, it's fine. So I'm gonna let me just shift this over. It's just move slightly. Uh, so yeah, two and a half, three, should be fine. But remember, always test before you sew to check the tension to make sure that it's sewing okay. So I'm going to start, I'm not going to start at the edge, I'm going to start where my cross was. And that so, was the black dot that you yeah, had on so the top Yeah, so if I just piece. show you on the pattern where I'm starting. So, you... so with these patterns, you've obviously got your right sides facing up all the time, even mm -hmm. though right sides of the fabric are facing together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start here and stitch all the way up to the black up cross Up to that again. black cross there, okay. Do you do a locking stitch at that point? Um, yeah, I would start off, do a, do a back tack or lock stitch. Perfect. If you haven't used that machine before, it's the second button up from the green button. Right, great. Uh, put my foot down, there we go. And now last time I was on, uh, I was very naughty and stitched over a lot of my pins and I ended up bending one, so. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. I, I, am, I am quite naughty when it comes to that. Uh, right, let's see. I got one and a half, that's one and a half, isn't it? Yeah, so remember, one and a half centimetre seam. And I will try and remember to move my pins as I sew this You time. do what you need to do. <laughs> I did, yeah, I did ha stop and I'd actually bent one. Right. <laughs> yeah, so see, I went over that one and I wasn't, it's because I'm not concentrating. And also it's live telly, what, yeah. you know, what, of yeah. course, what, what, what could possibly go wrong? What go wrong, exactly. exactly. 
Yeah, I've been good so far. So yeah, if your machine does have uh, the, the button that enables you to stop with a needle down, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favourite things about computerised machines. It's that you can stop with your needle down in the fabric. So now I'm coming up to the to the curve part. So I'm just going to start to take a little bit more care over what I'm doing So here. with this, you're leaving your stitch, your needle down, and then just rotating the yeah. fabric accordingly, yeah, so just, just lifting just the foot pivoting. out. Yeah, so, Brilliant. so when you get to a point like this, there will be a bit of stop-start, just so you can keep, keep the curve and be as accurate as possible. So yeah, and I always say, don't, don't get yourself into a race with the machine. That can happen. Well, the only one who loses is you. Yeah. The machine doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, it's going to keep exactly. going. Because well, like, I remember when I first started, you just, you're terrified. You didn't, the machine just runs away with itself, especially on and a of curve. Of course, I've just realised I was sewing ahead of you. I've got it on full pelt there, so it's on the fastest it'll oh, go, is it? so oh, you can rotate it down I hadn't, if you, you know, need I hadn't to. even noticed. But yeah, so it's just, just foot control. So yeah, slow down, go as slow as you need to if, if, uh, if you're struggling. So yeah, again, just working my way around till I get to more of a straighter edge and then I can whiz up the straight edge. So I'm coming up to my mark here, because I'm going to stop on that mark. And that was the mark at the very bottom of the pocket, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, which bit? Yeah, it was, it was this, this bit, wasn't it? Yeah, so we started... No, you started which, closest to where you. Where did I start? Started there and then you rotated ah, that to where I am here. Actually, no, I'm coming up to. No, that, that is correct. Sorry. Yeah. Don't doubt yourself. You no, know no, it's, what just you're I've, doing. I, it's just I've, I've actually got a second mark, but that's for a different point. So I've actually got another mark there, but I haven't explained that bit yet. That's okay. And so now I'm just we'll... impressed you got that curve so neatly. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't have. So, yeah, going up the straight edge now. That's the easy bit. Yeah. You can tell immediately you've picked up sp speed and everything. <laughs> oh, you seem to have a thread hanging off your pocket. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we ah, go. That, That's fine. Right. Just checking. Yep. Yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm glad someone is. I'm glad someone is. fray away there. So yeah, I'm coming up to that point now. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna stitch right to the top. I'm gonna stop one and a half centimeters away. And that was on that black cross and that, that was you drew the, earlier. Yeah, the black mark, yeah. So, and if you get to a point like this where it might start flapping around, if you need to remove your, obviously you need to remove your pin. But you can just, if you need to, use the end of the pin just to manipulate it. If you a little need. bit of friendly persuasion. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you can do that and you think, oh, it's near the end, I'll just take it out, and then it, just, it go, mm. goes off everywhere, and you end up with a really poor finish to the end. So you can just use the tip of the needle just to ease it through if you need to. I saw a lady who used a pair of tweezers once when I watched her doing a demo. She used a pair of tweezers, one of those long nose tiny tweezers, oh, right, and yeah. pulled them across as yeah. well. Really mm -hmm. clever. Yeah. So, so there's I've our always pocket. seen those tweezers and never known what they were for. Now I know it's for dressmaking. <laughs> <laughs> right, just snip, snip my threads off, and then we can, I can show you what it looks like. Yeah, so there we go. So it's very clear there. So that that ends up being folded back and stitched oh. in. So that's why we need to leave that open or, oh, or not. So we stop at them two marks there. Okay. So in quilting terms, you would effectively be doing a Y seam. Oh, well, I don't do quilting, so... Don't worry. So you we'll, don't do dressmaking, we'll I don't do quilting. It's fine, I'll get you into quilting. Quilting's a lot <laughs> easier than dressmaking. I'll get you doing another zip. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, what am I going to do with dresses? <laughs> I'll get you a shirt. Well, you like your shirts, oh, don't you? I don't know. The... Shirts scare me. Yeah. Oh, shirts are fine. I can show you. Yeah, so that's the pocket. So now I'm going to switch to doing the sleeve, okay? So if I just bring my diagram back in again... So you've made that first little picture there. Yep, yeah, so we've done this part here. So you can see the, uh, well, it looks exactly exactly like I've done there, where you've got that, it looks like it's cut, cut out piece where we've laid that smaller piece on, on the bigger piece. So here, this is our sleeve. So you'll see there, because it's a raglan and it's, it's an oversized sleeve, it's like a big diamond shape with like a, like a straight bottom. And there's your curve there of the neck. 
and then it's a two piece so if you look at the one I'm wearing you can see you can't even tell that you've pieced that sleeve yeah, but in. yeah so it's you can see it's bigger here but then quite small here okay so in terms of sizing I'd say stick with your normal size on this one because right. you, when you when you make it you think that looks quite big but it's big for a reason because you need to pull it over your head of course um but when I've made the the lower part of the sleeve you know that fits quite close so this is a 10 so this is the size I would go for so do go with your normal size that's one of the main things I would suggest Perfect. yes so so I'll get my sleeve pieces out so we need the upper sleeve which is the big triangular piece and the lower sleeve here so let me just grab them pieces and here's one you prepared and here's earlier. one I prepared earlier no that's not one of them right okay there we go so that is my you can three. tell how beautiful that fabric is as look, you were yeah. just draping it there yeah, it just flows that, yeah. so beautifully yeah lovely lovely movement in it okay so so yeah so there's my neck there do you know when I'm looking at this, I'm just thinking Chelsea Flower Show. Oh, yeah. Imagine this is yeah. a nice little dress walking around That'd be Chelsea amazing, Flower wouldn't Show. it? Yeah, definitely. So, and just just as a point of reference, just notice as well that one side of the neck is higher than the other. Okay. So this, I'm just checking because I've marked it. I've written front edge here, just so I know I'm what I'm... hoping that's a friction pin. It is, don't worry. <laughs> Absolutely. Images of you using so a this biro is the, on it. This is the front part of the sleeve and this is the back. So... If you notice, the back edge goes up slightly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to matter when we stitch the sleeve together at the seam. Okay, the first part I need to do is add the bottom edge. Of so that's the effectively your elbow bit, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I just find my little, uh, is that it? That yeah, that's it. Looks it. Yeah. So with this, it's going to be right sides together like that. And it's just a straightforward straight stitch just across there. I've actually written LS for lower <laughs> sleeve, so I knew what I was doing. Yeah. So yeah. But that's a really good tip, though. Yeah. Just writing things like exactly. that. Exactly. I think that's again, a really good. Again, tip. because this is, isn't a traditional dress shape, um, I'd, I'd recommend writing as much information on it, just so you know precisely what you're looking at. And as you say, a friction pin or chalk friction or anything pen, like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get uh, some pens I'm not sure where it's. It fades after a few days. I'm not sure if we sell them. We we'll probably do. Uh, I'm sure. We've got loads on yeah. the website for those. Uh, so, yeah, just wh whatever your preference is for um, making your marks. Uh, with this fabric, uh, in terms of notches, you can also snip. I wouldn't, with the the one I'm wearing, I wouldn't recommend snipping this because it does fray a little bit. Of course, bit. of course. So I would, I would use some sort of marker. Can you ever snip with a pinking shear? Because I'm not a dressmaker, I don't I know. Wouldn't, I wouldn't snip a, a notch with a pinking sheet. Fine, because yeah. obviously it won't be completely square, will it? And yeah. you, when you line up, it wouldn't line mm -hmm. up properly. Yeah. As I asked the question, I answered it for myself in my head. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's, <okay. laughs> That's all right. There's no stupid questions, don't worry. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I've, I've asked many a stupid question in time. <laughs> But I do think with all these things that the best way of learning it is to make the mistake because you Absolutely. won't do it again. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, oh, when I first started, you get, I think sewing is just one of them subjects, or when it's a creative subject, it's, you, you're you mastering a machine as exactly. well as learning uh, how to make so, And the machines are terrifying. Yeah. I bought the 720 for mm. my birthday in, in May. I've still not opened it because yeah. <laughs> it's staring oh. at me from across the room and I'm like... You'll have to bring it in and I'll, I'll help you set it up. And oh, you're very kind. Yeah. But yeah, when you first start, it's... And also it is the, intimidating. It, it is intimidating. I think that's why what's so great about having a channel like Song Street so you can... It exactly. makes it less frightening, you know. And, and I think as well, the best thing is whenever I do a demo, I am doing nine times out of ten, I, I mess something up. And hopefully everybody feels a bit more confident about their own sewing. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I still mess up. You know, I sew professionally and I... I we still all mess do. Up. You know, it's We're just human. human. Yeah. So, so I've pinned my um, lower sleeve on there. So I'm just just a straight stitch all the way down. Again, one and a half centimeter seam. You do your back stitch at the beginning again. Yeah. So with this one, it's just uh, don't worry about leaving a gap. Uh, you can just stitch the whole thing. Perfect. Now this machine, the one thing that is great is you have got the needle up and down button. Yeah, if you that's, want to. I, I, that's one of the best best things about computerized machines is the needle down button i absolutely love it and, and i just think 
as a, for a beginner or anyone, it, it's just it's probably the best thing that's ever been invented. So it's great for a beginner. Oh, and I've just realised I'm going over my pins. <laughs> so I'm, talk, I'm that, talking too I'll much. I'll leave that very much in your very big, <laughs> capable hands. You I'm talking fine. too much and not concentrating. It is interesting, though, because a lot of people, most people that I know, do sew over their pins. Everybody just advises you, if you are yeah. going to do it, just be careful. Because yeah, you do need to be... Because if the needle does hit a pin, yeah. it can shatter the needle, it can shatter mm -hmm. the pin, and it can cause harm. Yeah. And you've got little bits of metal flying yeah, around your sure. sewing room. So just be careful. Whatever you're doing, be safe. And there is no right or wrong, it's just what works best for you. Yeah. But I have to say, this is coming together really quickly. Mm-hmm. Because there isn't actually that many pieces, and it's just, um, it, it's symmetrical, mm. front and back, so, and, and no, um, no zip, so you can have it knocked up fairly quick, really. Exactly. Yeah. And it's also a really good price for the pattern as well because you can make this in any colourway you like because everybody's got those bits of stash lying around mm -hmm. waiting around. And also as well, because I think on the picture of, of, that we have of the, the professional picture of, of the pattern... And I don't know how we've done this, sorry to interrupt you, we're actually cheaper than the So Different website for this Oh, pattern. OK. Oh, right, OK. How much is it? Theirs is £17, ours is £14.99. That's about, yeah, that's brilliant. It is a good yeah. price. Yeah. Okay, so. Just this gonna... is the pattern that we're working with today, the Geo Dress. Yeah, so you might not be able to see it there, but on the front of that, that picture there, um, they've actually put a little bit of piping down uh, the seam, the raglan sleeve. You can't see it on there. But well, I think you can see it a little yeah, bit on the so, right side. Is that right side? So if you did want to make multiple versions of the dress, you could have Gosh, different you coloured could, bits of piping you? in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. Right, I'm just going to press open my seam. Isn't that June Taylor coming so handy? <laughs> I don't know what temperature that iron's on. Uh, it's fairly cool. It'll be fine. You're very brave putting it in there. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> <I know. laughs> that might have ended badly. Uh, luckily, I'm not the first aid officer, so I wouldn't have had oh, to okay. do anything. All right. I don't know what I would have done anyway, but we'd have sorted it out. I do have a bottle of water here, so I probably would have thrown it at you. <laughs> I'm just going to double check because I think, does it tell me to press the... Uh, it looks like it's open in that bottom here. picture. I'm just checking to see which way I pressed. I think I'll leave that pressed open. Oh, that's almost perfectly pattern matched as well. Oh, yeah. That, that well, was, no, well, that's, a, that's a total accident. Though. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Very well planned. I know you, Faye. You're a <laughs> consummate professional. <laughs> Right, so next part is uh, sewing the sleeve seam, and this is where the interesting now, bit. Where at we... this point, your friction pin writing has all come off. Yeah. You don't need it anymore, do no. you? No. Because it's quite obvious where you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Yeah. So. So you've notched along the way on the sides of the sleeve, haven't you? I've I've marked yeah some notches. So if I just grab again, I'll grab the pattern. So this is the size of the sleeve, mm -hmm. okay? So you can see that it matches up. So I've got my back edge here, and there's two notches there representing the back. And I've also got two notches here. So two notches on the back upper sleeve, our back edge, and two here. So just remember that this is the back, okay? And on the and front... And if you forget, you've written it on the yeah, back Yeah, to edge. remind me. Very good. Because <laughs> again, because it's... Because it's a dime, because it, it's not a traditional shape. It no. was just to remind me what, what I'm working with. And the the thing we need to concentrate on in terms of the pocket you is this might part need to here. Bring that a bit closer to me. All right. Oh, no, you're in. Sorry. Can I see it? Yeah. So this edge of the pattern here, we have a dot there, and we have a notch notch there. Okay. So this is the part here where we add the pocket. Okay, and that's the bit I'm right. going to show you. Okay, so if we just refer back to the instructions. So what it's telling me to do is to uh, stitch my seam, but already up to a certain point. So can we see that there? So mm -hmm. let me just move that out of the way. So yeah, so this is my sleeve. And you can, can 
you see my marks yep. there? Yeah. So when I sew my sleeve, I'm actually going to stop here. Okay. So this part here needs to be left open. All right. So and I'm just going to do a straight stitch all the way down. Okay. So that's what I'll do next. I'll just add a couple of pins in. I was going to say, I've not seen you pinning. And what you should do as well, just make sure that, because we're crossing over another seam here, just make sure that they're on top of each other so that when you open it out, it looks neat. I'm absolutely fascinated by this. It's brilliant. Mm. I've got to get you making a shirt. Oh, I don't know. I do have six trillion things to yeah. do at the minute. It's the idea of making a shirt. I've seen this image of me taking three days or four days. Oh, maybe to maybe make one it. of the one, one of the viewers could make you a shirt. Oh, I shirt. did. They had the lovely did Alison oh, Mann made me a, oh, a shirt. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, fabulous. She's so lovely. You're so lucky. She even offered to make me more. I was like, gosh, oh. Alison, I can't. And then promptly sent her six million meters of fabric. Oh. <laughs> But our demonstrators are all so lovely. They're so lovely. Right, there we go. So again, I'm going to start there and stitch all the way down. And that's from where the beginning notch was that you showed on the pattern a few yeah, months so, ago. Yeah, so this so this bit gets left open. Because that's where your pocket's Because that's going. where my pocket's going to go. Perfect. Yeah. So we'll just... See, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. And keep me right when I go wrong. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> You're the professional on this. Right. I so, wouldn't dare some tell somebody how to do anything with dressmaking. Oh, same with me with uh, with quilting. So, yeah, just start again with your back tack. And just doing two or three stitches, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And just straight down. Oh, just went over my pin again. All right. As long as we don't hear a, a, a yeah. startling crunch, we're all good. And I'm going to kind of, because I'm coming up to the um, seam here, the sleeve, so I'm just going to try and get it on and crank it and just get it right on that because it, it's an angle there so I'm going to need to then pivot a little bit ah right I did wonder how you would do yeah. that scene yeah. it's it's not very much fabric, but yeah but it's not as you say it's not a huge angle yeah. so it's just because you can't even when looking at the dress but if you put your arm out because I'm obviously looking at you in the side you can see that that angle between from your elbow down is mm -hmm. so so gentle yeah. compared mm -hmm. to yeah it's very very sim um, small difference there now on the edge, have you got a piece for the very end of the sleeve as well, or are you just sewing that up just to gets, a point? Um, so you're that so, just, sewing up to that last piece. Yeah, so right something. to the end of the sleeve, yeah, and then that just gets turned Perfect. back. Perfect, yeah. right. And it See is, all those raw edges, there's a quill try look at it and go, oh, raw edge, I can't have it, can't have it. I know. So yeah, I would obviously finish your raw edges before you, whichever way you prefer, whether it's a zigzag or whether it's an overlock stitch. Uh, on your machine. Which do you prefer? Well, I have an overlocker. Perfect. Um, yes, yeah, so it's a nice So I nice have an picture. overlocker. I've never used them, but I've seen some of those air threading ones. Aren't they incredible? I have you got one of those? No, I've, I've not actually seen the, them <gasps> ones. I've, oh my goodness, they've got a juky one, which was just, it was my worst day of yeah. presenting ever. But <laughs> on the 17th of March, it was absolutely, his, it was Gary from Juki. Oh my goodness, I was enthralled. It was absolutely stunning. I love those little air threading machines. Right, so, do I have my little, ah, oh, there we go. I was going to say, your pocket is there as far as I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> my little sleeve Ooh, press. Ooh, what's that? Little sleeve press. Oh, that's exciting. Mm. Now, I'm guessing if it doesn't fit on this, it's not going to fit on your arm. Oh, it'll fit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she drags it up. What do you call that? Well, this is, it's a sleeve press. Sleeve as far press. as, yeah. Um, 
It's a little bit like a tailor. Well, tailor's hams are much bigger than this, but it is, it is similar to a tailor's ham. But you do get the sleeve presses that are like a little table as well. Okay. In the complex where I have my studio, we have a tailor there, oh, guild trained and everything. Oh, yeah. um, and she's got one of them. They're amazing. Yeah. They go, yeah, they're, they're, they're so long. Yeah. Well, you, depending on what you're doing, you can get really huge ones, yeah. Because especially the good as well, you can get really long ones for if you're pressing like long waist seams yeah. and to get to get the shape in that you need. Because uh, no, pressing is you know, that important. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't. I would, I'd advise anyone if you're into your dressmaking, get get some good pressing um, tools because mm. it it makes such a difference it to, uh, seems to to your sewing. So just give this top edge a good little bit. Of a and you're all fine with steam on this as well. Yep, yeah, steam's Perfect. been fine. Uh, if anything, I'd recommend it, especially on the one that I demoed with, because it's a little bit springy. Right. So uh, so yeah, I would definitely use the steam. Now I need to be careful because I don't want to iron off my marks, so I'll leave it there. <laughs> I want to ask you how I know that, how you know this, but I think I know why you know this. Brilliant! So you, that, yeah. that's your sleeve pretty so much prepared yep. so now for the pocket. Uh, yep. So and the pocket uh, goes in this area here. So again, it's quite an unusual shape hmm. that we're working with. Okay. Because this now looks as though it's going to be really tricky. Yeah, because this, if you think about it, that bit there is actually here, mm. my underarm. Okay, and that's where your pocket gets inserted. So if I just take you back to the uh, instructions, just so it's much better if visually if you look at this diagram. So we're at this part here. So I've stitched my sleeve edge here to the notch. And what we're going to do now, I know I made reference to the neck before, um, we now need to fold, make sure that our neck, uh, the top edge of the neck. I was going to say, so the neck is that curly bit yeah. that you had at the top. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so, so I folded it on top of each other and you can see there. That's your neck at the top. So that, that's the back that I'm holding here and that's the front and that's precisely what it is on this diagram here. So this is, the lower, this is the lower front neck and that is, that is the back. Okay, and that's precisely where it wants to be. And then we need to refer to uh, the part here that I've left open. Okay, so our pocket goes into this place here. So if I grab my pocket piece, so what we need to do is uh, find our dot here. So. So you don't need to press the seams on the pocket at all, no. do you? Because no. you want them flat yeah. on the mm -hmm. inside. Yeah, I mean, you can. I would give them the trim as well because they might be a bit, a little bit bulky. Um, so I've got my little mark here at the top, and then that needs to then lay into here. So I match this dot with that dot. Okay. Okay. I hope this is making sense to people. Yes, it well, it's yeah. making sense to me if so, I understand yeah. it. So now, which way round are you putting it? So this this is the left sleeve. So yes. this is going to match. This is my front. Yeah, so I'm laying this on the front edge here. So not or, or mark dot on top of dot here. Perfect. And I will just pop a pin in. Now I'm not rushing you, just letting you know you've got five minutes left. That's fine. I don't this like was, springy. No, that's over. fine. You've got this, is, <laughs> <laughs> this is the bit I really wanted to get to, because yes. I think this is the one that needs the a bit more. Would you uh, just recap that? Because yeah. I interrupted and that's destroyed okay. your train that's of okay. thought there. Sorry. Yeah, so what we've done. So I've laid my pocket down like that. So this is the upper sleeve opening. This is the front edge and there's a dot in the corner of my front edge. And then if I find my dot here on my pocket, then that matches up with the dot there. Okay. And I will add my pin. And that's both pieces of fabric where you've got that dot on both pieces of the pocket. So on the pocket and on the, the front. Because yeah. the pocket you had that dot in both places, yeah. didn't you? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And what happens is, so this bit that we've opened up, that folds back and then the pocket oh. is laid across there and you end up with a seam like that. So That is a Y seam. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, a Y seam. <laughs> You knew what I was doing all along. I did. Yeah. Oh, that's really clever. Yeah. So that is how your pocket gets inserted. 
No, I'm sorry. If I got that, I think that's really clever. Yeah. So I'm just going to pin it. And when it comes to... Well, I'll, I'll show you how we sew it in a minute. Let me just pin this in place. So again, one and a half centimetres. There's a couple of different ways you can sew this. Um, in the instruction, it tells you to turn it over so that it's this way up. So you can see your Y seam. Mm -hmm. And you basically straight stitch all the way across and catch this seam in there as you sew along. Or another way of doing it uh, is to sew up to your mark. Can we see that there? Sew up to your mark, stop, and then you can take your needle out, flip that piece over, then go again the other side. The way it's, Which do you prefer? Well, the way, the way it instructs you is, is to just stitch straight across. Because mm -hmm. if you do it that way, uh, you avoid a hole. Okay. Uh, but you can, you can, because you can see where my stitching is there. So what I would have, if I did try to do it the other way, I could stop there. Just make sure that I meet that stitching. On both sides. On both sides. Yeah. yeah. But... Uh, I think I would never making this myself, but I would have probably go straight over as well because that fear of having that little <laughs> hole, hole spread. Yeah. I'm just going to move that pin that way. Over there. Yeah, so, so initially I was like that, but in the instructions it tells you it might be easy to turn just it the so other way. And it does so, make sense, yeah. yeah. So turn it the other way, and that way you can then stitch across and make sure, really important, that you catch that seam there. So let's just open this out and see where I am. And I'm just going to put a pin actually going that way, just so I know. And is that roughly where you're seeing that's, stitching yeah, ends? Yeah, that's where I want to. Roughly where I want it to be. Just take that back out. Yeah, so flatten that out a little bit. And pop my it's pin. important to take the time to get this right because yeah. it's yeah, an important this is, yeah. seam. Um, because this kind of underpins the whole look of, of the pocket. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think we're okay there, and I can take that over to the machine. Oh, brilliant! That looks like yeah. a precision um, pinning there of notes. Yeah. And again, I would I wouldn't sew right to the end on this one because we're going to need to. Edge, yeah, right. just on your dot. One of your pins has fallen out of oh, your basket, oh, and it's, that's why your basket's crooked. Your pin thing is crooked if you need it. No, oh, well, I'm fine. It's magnetic, yeah, fine. so they stay, yeah. stick to the. Right. Okay, so we're ready to go. So and yeah, back tack a so little yeah, bit I'll there back as well. Tack. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm just coming up to that point now, so I just want to make sure that that looks okay. So yeah, again, take your time with this. And I'm just going to, because I've taken my pin out, but I'm just going to help feed the fabric through. So I hit that mark. Oh, so I'm over the hill now, and then that's just straight along. It's, it's, timing wise, this has gone quite well because <laughs> this is the bit that I really wanted to get to. No, you've done really well. Yeah. But it's always nice, especially somebody who's so good at this as a, a, a normally, knowing where your uh, top tips are, I think helps everybody as well. And mm -hmm. it's such a wonderful pattern. And I'm so pleased we've managed to get it in. Yeah. It's great. So that's what it should look like. So that seems open. Perfect. So that, yeah, if I turn and it through. And that is exactly what you're wanting, isn't it? Yeah. If I just turn it through, just so you can see what it will look like when you turn it back through. Which I'll leave that like that. 
at the moment, this probably doesn't look like much because it's, it looks <laughs> a very unusual shape. But I think when you look at your own dress and you can see that angle and you, I think, could you put your, I'm being very, can you pop your arm up and people mm -hmm. can actually yeah, see sure. the angle? Yeah. Because it just works so elegantly that's the there all the way down. There's a pocket edge there. Yes. Uh, and can we see? So, and there is the pocket edge. So your hand will go in like that. Yeah. So that's the bit, you know, we left the seam open. So that bit gets turned. In to turned it that into, way. Turned into, to attach it. Yeah. And that forms fabulous. your pocket. Your pocket there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the important bit. No, it's that, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, you're back with us at 10 o'clock. What are you showing us then? <laughs> this lovely jacket. Oh, that's mm. beautiful. That's Contrast really, really denim. good. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remind you of the pattern that you're going to get. We've got brand new today, the new Geo dress from So Different. Really, really beautiful. We've got that on your screens now. And that's just $14.99, going from sizes 8 to 26. Um, and the So Different's own website has this on it. It's just under £17, I'm hearing. So we're a little bit cheaper than them at the moment. So do check that out. Such a beautiful dress. Great demonstration there. We've got three different fabrics with it. Uh, we've got this wonderful... We're going to start with the Geo one that Faye is wearing right now. <laughs> Sorry, no, <laughs> that's not it. Do you know what this one's called? The th 30... Bertie! I thought you said 30. Sorry. The Bertie Geo dress fabric. And isn't it fun? I just love that. Three metres of this are coming in at uh, £46.99. And there's loads left over. You said there was loads yeah. left over when you had yeah. on the dress mm -hmm. there. This one's one... 40 wide, if I remember correctly. Um, then we've also got the Queen of Sweden, if Queen you'll excuse me, very nice. But I keep wanting to say the... Queen of Sheba when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Now you know I will only refer to it that way. But isn't that lovely? Imagine this in Chelsea. This would be fabulous. 145 centimetres wide, really nice and light. And you can see the detailing on there is so beautiful. A nice, good statement piece of fabric there. I love that. Really will pop at any event. It's great. But this one, I think, is a little bit more, I want to say posh. It's just such uh, yeah. a beautiful cut. And it feels it beautiful. Feel so if you like your fabric, this feels feel nice. really yeah. beautiful as well. Imagine this with a nice a nice pair of pumps, a string of pearls. You're sorted. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful lilac colour. Also three metres here. $46.99. And we are calling this the soft lilac geodress fabric. Three metres of this. This is 140 centimetres wide, this one as well. So really lovely amount of fabric there. Beautiful colourways. And what a wonderful demo. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. We're going to be back at 10 o'clock with Faye doing this wonderful jacket. Yeah. Really looking forward to that. And we're just going to have a small break now while we read the set. See you in a minute. Hello, my name's Rachel Ilsley. Let me show you around my beautiful sewing studio, Magnolia. My sewing studio is in Wooten Bassett and on a daily basis, I alter and dress make for bridal customers. All my brides are absolutely wonderful. You can see I make waistcoats, bridesmaids, dresses, um, anything really they ask me for. Now my sewing story started as an adopted child and my adoptive mother was also a seamstress, so she taught me everything I know. So I feel extremely lucky to be able to now be doing this as a profession. Also very proud am I to be now a part of the Sewing Street family. And I so look forward to being on the shows with all of your support, which I know that I have. My claim to fame, well, I did appear on another sewing channel in last November, on the 7th of November. Some of you may have watched it. Um, and so that was my little claim to fame. So I've just literally risen from a full-time insurance job to sewing as a profession. I look forward to seeing you all. Bye. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page.
Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business, it was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike and they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. And I'm not allowed to, but look at them. These are just the most gorgeous, gorgeous colours. These are at 11 o'clock. I know I'm not allowed to do this. Liam's going to get into so much trouble with him. But just look at those. Aren't they just the most beautiful, beautiful colours away? It's just a great little sh way to show you some beautiful fabrics that are coming up at 11. And I'm not allowed to. I just grabbed them out of the box because I wanted you to see them. So beautiful. But so check out the website. We've got loads of really, really wonderful fabrics coming up at 11 o'clock. And... Oh, oh, I'm hearing I can do it. Oh, I'm excited there. Look at these. So these, what have we called these? These are the pastels range. You're getting a half meter of each one. You've got this beautiful, beautiful colorway there. Look at these, half a meter of each. Let me show you what a half meter looks like on one of these pieces, because they're all the same, half meter for each one. Look how much fabric you're getting there. Absolutely lovely. This is a beauty, is this called lemon? can't remember the name of it but it'll be on the website but it's just such a beautiful beautiful color this lovely little I'm gonna call it a lemony yellow it is lemon oh I'm getting better better at this game but these are all a hundred percent cotton and they feel so lovely and we've got this beautiful pink and this lovely blue gorgeous minty green there as well just gorgeous combination half a meter of each of these today $13.99 I don't, oh, I don't know, I'm liking the green more. Liam's saying he prefers the blue. I'm thinking the green on that is really lovely. But the good thing is, you get them all $13.49. Wonderful. And if you manage to get our early bird already, um, you've paid your one day P&P, $3.95. All day, doesn't matter how many times you order. 
great little early bird we got there as well, our little Gutman threads. We have got a fabulous hour ahead of us now, all our wonderful, wonderful rulers. We're going to start off with our Stropology ruler, the XL. This is such a gorgeous ruler. Um, oh, no, that's not the XL. But there we go. We'll do this one first, the Stropology. Um, this is such a great ruler. Now, most of you have ever used these, only think that you can do these strips going this way, um, and you can do just cutting straight lines, but I'm going to show you a trick on this. Can I grab the XL? Okay. Uh, Well, it's exactly the same. So this is the uh, the normal Stropology ruler, not the XL. Uh, what I'll show you what is so great about this. So the only difference with the XL versus this one is this one's a bit narrower. Uh, the XL's a bit bigger. Um, and the only difference is, is with the XL, you would have more throat space to be able to cut all of these. Um, they're a little bit wider this way. So this is 14 inches. So in order to cut these. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a trick that I like to do with this ruler. And what I do is I fold all my fabrics and I then lay them down on these gorgeous mats. And what I do is I fold them down and I try and just line them up. Now you can tell none of my edges are aligned. None of these edges are aligned here. There we go. So I'm just getting them roughly close like that. And I'm getting this one roughly close like that. And as if by magic, the XL has just arrived. So the, all it is is the XL. We're doing both of these rulers today. There are so many gorgeous rulers on today. So this is the normal Stropology one. And you can tell the difference in size. The XL is, it's, it's like the big daddy of them all. It's so, so good. I personally have the XL because I just think there are so many different things you can do with it. Um, so I like to have the larger rulers because it just means my life's a little bit easier on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into two inch strips and all I'm doing is oh, I'm lining the the fabric up with a line over here just to get them lined up and I try and get them reasonably close together you don't have to you can do it however you prefer but I get that all lined up perfectly there and I get my XL ruler and then what I do is because I've lined my fabric up with the mat you'll see you've got these dark lines over here I do exactly the same. I line my dark line up with the bottom of the fabric. So you can see I've lined those up there perfectly. I then take one of my rotary cutters. Now I'm going to cut these into two inch strips. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this backwards. So I'm going to start at six inches. And the great thing with the Creative Grids ruler, all of these Creative Grids rulers have the um, non-grip slip dots on the back of the ruler. Um, and there we go. So I've cut that's a two inch strip. So now I'm going to cut another two inch strip here. I'm um, just checking I've got enough. I'm going to do it from three. I'm going to move this over ever so slightly. There we go. That'll be better. I just don't want to miss an edge. So there we go. So that is what everybody understands the Stropology ruler does, is that you can cut as many layers as you like, what you feel comfortable cutting, what your rotary cutter blade will cut, and you can cut two inch strips. However, I'm going to show you a little trick here. What I like to do is when I've got my cutting mat out like this, you can see what I've done is these are the, just the two inch strips I've already cut. I then put this along, you'll see I've got a 30 degree line on my, rule, on my cutting mat here. I'm lining my fabric up against this 30 degree line. And I line them up on top of each other, get them as close to that 30 degree line as I can. And then I take the exact same ruler back. I line that up, you'll see I'm lining just one of my lines up with one of the lines to make sure it's all square. I'm going to lift that up just a little bit so I can get the whole piece of fabric in. So there we go. I'm all lined up. So my first cut is going to be over here at one inch. And I slide that in. I'm just going to check because I think I missed the beginning bit there, and I did. Now, these are two inches wide, so I'm going to cut these two inches across. So I cut it one. Now I'm going to cut it three. 
I'm going to cut at five. I'm going to cut at seven. I'm going to cut at nine. I'm going to cut at eleven. Thirteen. Fifteen. And my last one here will be seventeen, but I don't. Oh, I will get it. Yes. Brilliant. Now this is what most people understand the creative grid, st the stripology does. But now you have a whole load of diamonds. So when you want to do these, all you do now is you put those together. You so put those. You've got to have a quarter of an inch sticking out on either side. So you've got a quarter inch of the back fabric hanging over here, quarter of an inch at the top, and then. I line this up, increase my stitch length, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a few of these together to just show you, oh I've got that the wrong way around. What am I doing? And all you're doing is making sure you've got a quarter of an inch hanging off each side. And then I get my lovely June Taylor. And I press these open. And you can see you've got the start of a Lone Star. So I know that everybody just looks at, the, at, the, at these rulers and they think, oh no, that only cuts straight lines. But you see that simple task of just rotating that, using your cutting mat, moving it along by 60 degrees, moving it onto the 60 degree line. You've now then, and you sew four of these strips together. And you can see, you just literally have created the start of your lone star. Now I will say, obviously I'm not using best press, you have got bias to contend with. It is such a beautiful way of doing this. And equally, if you wanted to, you can now sew, you can cut your strips together, sew them together, and have three or four different um, repeats of it and then cut them exactly the same as again and you just sew them all together and have these wonderful little lone stars and if I just loosely put these here obviously you've got your quarter inch seam to be dealing with but if I just do that you can see how you build this beautiful little lone star effect here doing that it's just a really nice way of being able to use this ruler in a different way than most people consider it being used and making something just so effortlessly wonderful. And you can see, once I've sewn all that together, it would look really, really effective. And it took no time at all to sew all of these together. Just a really, really nice way of doing it. And you don't end up with a lot of waste either. There's very little waste. So it's just such a nice little way of doing it. So. Now that is for the, this, would, this method would work with all of the stropology rulers, but what is so good about the Excel, I'm just going to do one more minute on the Excel ruler, is if you want to cut squares, because Creative Grids have got these wonderful little squaring rulers, so this is the squared mini ruler, and you'll see that you can cut a whole load of squares out of it, you can see the white squares. What they've done with the Excel ruler is that they've combined the squared ruler into the Excel, which is such a great feature. And you're getting two rulers for free here. So if you're wanting to cut, let's say, my piece of fabric there is six and a half inches. If you're wanting to cut a six and a half inch square, you can see this is my six and a half inch square here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fabric exactly as I have then. My non-slip grip technology is holding the ruler, helping me hold the ruler in place. I then come along and I cut the right hand side, I come along here, I cut the, the left hand side, and then 
I rotate my fabric because obviously I don't have a rotating cutting mat as big. So I know these two sides are now exactly six and a half. All I do now is I rotate that and I line that up with my mat, the top line, because I know that's completely correct. Take my ruler again, and I know that my six and a half line there and my six and a half line there are spot on because I've just cut them. I then make sure I line up the exact, you'll see I'm just a little bit over my, my white line is a little bit over there and a little bit under here because what I'm doing is I'm lining my fabric up in the middle of both of those lines. And then all I'm doing now is I'm trimming this up here. And it's such a small amount of fabric that I've taken off, but I now have a perfect six and a half inch square, but I've got two of them. And if you want to do four of them, you can do four of them. And then the other great thing about this tool as well, which not many people use, I then, I love my half square triangles. So what I do now is I line these up on the rule, on the thing on here. You can see the yellow line there and the yellow line there. <clears throat> and then all I need to do when I want to cut this is I line my, my ruler exactly in the middle there. You can see these teardrops at the top there and the teardrops at the bottom. And all I do then is I cut them like that. There are so many different ways of using this ruler and you've now got four half square triangles ready to be sewn together. It's such a great, great ruler. Really, really lovely way of doing it. And the thing is they, because they've combined two rulers in one, $61.99 is a considered purchase, but it's such a great ruler and you will use it for so many different things. <clears throat> each one of the Creative Grids rulers has a video explaining how to use each and every one of them. So that is the Creative Grids Stripology XL ruler. This one is the Stripology ruler. We'll do it on the... So this is the Stripology ruler that I showed you at the very beginning. This one is $44.99. It doesn't have the squaring function that it does on the XL, but this has got the same size and everything for everything else. Really, really lovely ruler. Um, this one is 20 inches across by 14, and it's just such a really lovely ruler as well. It does the same thing as the others as well, just without that squaring. Then we've got the mini or the squared. Then we have our mini. So if you were wanting to not cut anything bigger than a six and a half inch square, this is the perfect ruler for you. So you can see the, the square I just cut, you can do exactly the same thing with this one. And you've got the option of cutting on different angles really great way of being able to do that. This one's available for £36.99 today. That's the Stripology Mini Ruler. And then last but not least, we've got the Stripology Squared Ruler. This is the one which I've said to you before that they've merged the two together um, in the Stripology XL. You can see you've got all of these going up to a 12 and a half inch square on the outside. You've got your 45 degree angles as well. And if you are cutting out half square triangles, you can use the lines on the side here. If I just put my hand there, you'll see there's some dotted lines here in order to do it. The great thing with all of these rulers is you've got those videos from Creative Grids all available. You just scan the QR code on the... Sorry, I completely lost my train of thought there. You've got to go and check on the website for each of these. So the second one we showed was the medium ruler. Oh, right. So... I'm hearing now that this one unfortunately has now sold out, so sorry about that. We didn't have a huge amount of stock, but everybody was very, very keen on what we had left. So congratulations if you got it. Really sorry we haven't got too much left of that. But the rest of them, go and have a little look on them. Read the testimonials. Don't just listen to me. They are such fabulous rulers. You will love them. Really, really good ones there. Now, will you stay on the stage? It's got a nice sound to it there. What we got next? Now, sticking with our Creative Grids, now I absolutely love the Creative Grids rulers. We have got some wonderful squares here today for you. We've got an array of sizes as well. We've got four different sizes for you. So the one that I personally use the most of is the second one. This is our six and a half inch square. Really, really perfect ruler. This is perfect for half square triangles. It's six and a half inches square. You've got those wonderful creative grid dots on the back. You can see as I go there, you can see these wonderful grip dots on the back. And then you'll be able to see them on here. You've got the wonderful measurements on here. It's a lovely ruler. 
and this is available for $14.99. Great size, really, really good. This was my favorite ruler to use of the squares, but then I found this one, and this one is now my favorite one to use. It's the eight and a half inch. Only reason I prefer the eight is sometimes my designs, I'm using six and three quarters, four and a, uh, seven and a quarter, and that square is just slightly too small, where this one I find to be the most useful one in my collection as well. So it's exactly the same as the six and a half, just slightly bigger, eight and a half by eight and a half. You've got that wonderful centering line for any form of half square triangles. And this one is $16.99. So it's two pounds more than the six and a half one, but it's such a great size. And it does allow you to do those slightly larger sizes than the six and a half. I love this one. And that is definitely my favorite one of this size. It's the most useful on that. Doesn't mean I haven't used my six and a half every other day as well. It's just, that's the one that I reach for the most. But this one, is fabulous as well, the 12 and a half inch size. This is perfect if you're doing quilting because 90%, I'd say 80% of the quilt blocks you make are 12 and a half inches. This one is the perfect ruler for it because if you're squaring your blocks up, this is the perfect size to be able to be doing because most of your blocks will be 12 and a half inches. If you are doing very, very large half square triangles, you can square these up perfectly and it's a beautiful beautiful 12 and a half inch size so with all of these creative grid technology you'll see over there that's a completely flat surface whereas on this side if I can find the studio camera studio lights there we go you'll see you've got these wonderful grip dots over here these dots so on the other side there I've just shown you that doesn't have any dots so I'm not applying a lot of pressure and you can see that's moving so if I rotate this round where we've got our slip dots on there, if I then apply the same amount of pressure to it, the ruler's not moving anywhere near as much as when it doesn't have the dots and I'm doing that, you can see it moves. So what's so great about the Creative Grids is having these dots, it does make your life a lot easier when you come to do your, your uh, cutting because you get a lot more of an accurate cut and every single one of us have had them where you don't have the slip grip technology and you do try and cut and your fabric goes like that, your, your ruler goes like that and you cut the fabric wrong and every one of us have done it. It's just totally, totally annoying. This does help eliminate that as best that any ruler can because of those dots. Really great size, 12 and a half inches there. This is $23.99. But who has? Hello, Elizabeth. We've got a message in. Morning. She's loving the ruler demos this morning. And she loves my shirt. Elizabeth, that's very kind. Thank you so much. Not mine. Hubby's. But I have to say, if we were going to bring you a monster ruler, <gasps> look at it. Now I have this ruler as well and I love it because most of the blocks are 12 and a half inches, but we do have 15, 16 inch blocks or 20 inch blocks. This is perfect because you can square everything down. You don't need to be maneuvering anything else. You don't have to be struggling with being able to make sure one side's perfect. You literally take this ruler, pop it on top of your block and everything gets squared underneath it perfectly. I can, don't think we can even get it all in our screen. Look at that. It's such a great ruler. But they've done the same technology. You've got those non-slip grip dots on there. You've got your wonderful 45 degree line. You've got all your dimensions on here down to an eighth of an inch and each going up in the eighths of inches. You'll see you've got your uh, go down one more. You've got your, I'm just on the wrong, uh, there we go. So there's your half, you've got your uh, three eighths, quarter, one eighth, and then the other way, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths, and whole. It's such a great ruler. And the good thing is, if you're left or right handed, you'll see that we've got the white dots over here. These are for all of the rulers, not just this one. You've got your white dots. So this is now number nine, eight, seven, six, and that's upside down. Whereas on the other side, we've got it all, the black numbers are all in um, visual for right-handed people. But if you rotate this round, left-handed people have it as well. They've thought of absolutely everything. And every single one of these Creative Grid rulers have got videos. This little QR code there will be able to give you some tips and tricks on how to use the ruler as best you can. It's a really lovely way of being able to then see how everybody else has done it. This one's $49.99 today. Such a great ruler. Love mine, I have to say. 
We've also then got our wonderful rectangles. These are our basic rulers that every one of us use. The one that the majority of people have already or do need when they start quilting is our 24 and a half by six and a half inch ruler. I must have three or four of these dotted around my studio and they are lovely, really, really good. This one's 23 pounds 99 today. The great thing about this is you've got all of the angles that you need. You've got your 45 degree lines on this side. And if I push, you can see our 45 degree line there and there. But if I push this up just a little bit, you'll see you've also got your 30 degree, your 60 degree, your 45 degree. And if you rotate your ruler around, obviously you use it on the other side of the ruler to get your 30 degree as well. All of the angles that you need on here, it is the most useful ruler and the one most quilters use. And dressmakers, it's a really, really good size. This six and a half by 12, and, uh, by 24 and a half. This one's 23 pounds 99 today. We've also got the 24 and a half by eight and a half inch ruler. I have to say, I've fallen in love with this one as well. That one was my favorite, the six and a half. This is definitely the one I'm using in my studio a lot more these days. This one's 31.99. It's exactly the same ruler, but it is two inches bigger. And that two inches, it does cover a whole load of areas where you are cutting your seven and a quarter inch or your seven and a half inch strips. This is the perfect ruler to be able to do that. Really, really lovely one. And again, all of these rulers have your little QR code in order to go and get your videos and everything on there as well. There's your little QR code over there. And they all come with a set of instructions for different tips on how to use the ruler. And do read them because most of you will think, oh, it's a square, a rectangular ruler, what's there to know? Have a read, I didn't know. There's loads of different suggestions on there. They're really, really good. Now, before we do some rulers, shh, we're gonna start with one of our wonderful, wonderful racks. Now, I personally adore these. Now, I've gotta be careful when I stack these because I get very ambitious. So this one is a five slot rack. Now, at the moment, I'm gonna just put in our larger pieces over here. So this is our Stropology ruler. I'm gonna put that one on the back. And then I've got my Stropology squared ruler. I'm gonna put that on the front. And then I've got my Stropology Excel ruler. I'm gonna put that on the front. Now, I will warn you, if you are stacking these, they are fabulous, but you need to make sure you keep your weight at the front because otherwise your little blocks will fall over. But these are so, so brilliant. I absolutely love these um, tool holders here. Really, really handy. And you can get a large amount of rulers in here. Um, I'm trying to get them all in. I'm not sure I will, but I'll try. I think I'm pushing my luck if I get them all on. And also I need to show, I can keep some of them. So at the moment, I've got all four of my Stropology. Nope, that's too far. That one was the one that broke the camel's back. There we go. So I have my Stropology Excel. I have my Stropology Squared, I have my Stropology Mini, I have my six and a half and 20, uh, eight and a half, 24 inch ruler, and it's holding perfectly. These are such a great, 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 is that the right graphic? That's the cutting mat. Sorry, I was just looking there and thinking this isn't 36.99. So these are the five slot um, ruler holders and you can see how many it's holding here. It's such a great one and I think actually I can probably get my eight and a half inch ruler at the back here as well. When you do load it, you need to make sure you've got most of the heavy ones at the front, not at the back. It just makes sure that it doesn't fall over. Um, but they're so good, because these rulers do take up a lot of space, and when you're looking for them, you can't find them. And for $11.99, that's how much this is, $11.99, you can just see how brilliant that is. And if I just rotate this, it's $11.99, not $37.99. If I just hold it like that, you can see just how many of the, whoops, just how many rulers we've ended up getting in there. And you can see how brilliant it is to hold that. And it's such a heavy weight. You've got your massive XL ruler there, your Stropology, you've got your Stropology squared, you've got your Stropology mini, your eight and a half by 24 and a half, your eight and a half by six and a half, and you've got your eight and a half inch square. And if you look at that, it's holding perfectly.
It's such a great, great ruler holder. I'm gonna take off a couple of these that I can show you the four inch slot, but I am, hopefully, without knocking these over, we've got some wonderful products on this hour. Let me show you there. I'm gonna slide this over here. And they are really easy to move around. It's just when you come to let it go, just make sure because you've got a lot of weight of rulers on that. And most of us wouldn't stack that many rulers on there. There we go, it's holding up perfectly there. But if you want something a little bit smaller, we've got the four slotted one as well. Also equally as sturdy, this is your um, 12 and a half inch square. You've got your six and a half inch square. You've got your eight and a half inch square. And I've run out of rulers. <laughs> I don't have any other rulers to put on there. This is such a great one as well. You can see all those different slots there available. Really, really good, 10.99. And doesn't that look so much neater than having your rulers just lying all over the place? I absolutely love these. I think they're fabulous. Really, really good little rulers there. But now staying with our creative grids, we're gonna start off with, we can do the Dresden. We'll do the Dresden first. Now, I love me a good Dresden ruler. I love these. So what I've done here is what your ruler looks like. So you're gonna get a blade, you're gonna get that lovely little blade, you're gonna get the circle, and you're gonna get this wonderful set of instructions. Now, the instructions, I, I actually ended up, <laughs> I taught a class yesterday with uh, one of the rulers from Creative Grids and the lovely lady that came and did the class, she just unpacked it, f screwed this up in the ball and threw it in the bin. And I was like, don't do that, no! <laughs> and the reason is there are so many good tips in these things. Don't throw them away, hang on to them because it's really, really, really good to do that. Now with these, what I've done in the past is I've made a couple, I've made small ones that look like that. It's just such a sweet little way of doing it. And then what you would do is just put a little circle in the middle. And then I've got these that have got these wonderful curves on the side that just give such a simple, easy um, way of doing that. You can just then go and applique this down. Really, really lovely. So what I wanted to do is to just show you from beginning to end how best you actually use this, um, this ruler. So all I've done over here is I've cut out a strip of fabric that is nine, I think it's nine and a half inches or nine and a quarter. It's the width of the ruler. You'll see that I've been able to put that on there and the whole blade, the full side of the blade is how long it is. And all I've done is I've laid up, I've got two pieces of white, I've got some beautiful Tilda Bon Voyage. I think I've got five layers there. Now you cut as many layers as you feel comfortable cutting. Don't overcut. Just because I've got five or six layers here, don't do it because I've done it. Do what feels safe for you. And all you do is you literally just put your blade on there on the edge, you line this up perfectly on the edge here, take your rotary cutter and you just cut down and get as many blades out as you like. Now the reason I'm using the, um, now this is what I love, so the reason I'm using the white is because I've had some questions is if people wanted to bulk out their really beautiful tilde, how do they do that? So I'm gonna show you that today. But what I love most about this block, this ruler, is when you come to the end there and you've cut your strip out and you've got all these wonderful wedges that you've cut out all the way along, you come to an end and if I put my blade on there, you can see over here, I haven't got quite enough fabric to make a full blade. So all you do is you slide your ruler down, find out where the edge of your, I'm gonna just do this and I take the one that's got the smallest amount of fabric width wise I line all these back up again. The one that's got the smallest amount of fabric width wise, and I put that at the very top. Line all my fabrics up again. And the reason I do that is when I come to put my blade down now, so that is that was a full blade, and you can see over here it's not gonna work. So all I do is I move my blade knowing that this top piece is the one that's got the least amount of fabric, and I line that up to the point where I can see it's going to be the, a full blade. And on this instance, it's eight inches. So all I do now is I cut that off, and then I cut the top off there, 
And I've now got a whole load of eight inch blades to be able to do. And that's my waist. That's all the waist that I've got on this ruler. It's such a clever, clever ruler being able to have that. And then you can then go and do that. And as you're cutting out however many you cut, that's going to be a nice little Dresden. And what you can do is you can do it as a half Dresden. So you can then just position it like this. Or you can do a quarter Dresden even. So to make a full Dresden, you need 20 blades. If I did that, you can see that's really pretty. But let's say you wanted to use your red fabrics on the edges and you wanted to use that blue in the middle, that makes another beautiful Dresden. And then the bits that you've got left over, you can save for another project. It's such a great way of being able to do that. And I love the being, you know, I just love this way of sewing these. And what I've done before, you'll see here, I've done these curves on previous demos and I've done the, the fans. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to lay these all out and you don't have, we might not get time to sew them all today, but what I wanted people to see is by, uh, by using some of your white fabric, you can then go, so we're going to need 10 of these to make a full circle because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one white, one tilde, one white, one tilde, one white, one tilde. You can see a theme here, can't you? And it does bulk out your fabric because tilde, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful fabric and you're spending a reasonable amount of money on them because they're so beautiful. You want to bulk it out sometimes. And there's no shame in that. I think that's really important because you want to be savvy in how you do it. But look how beautiful that is and how effective it is. And then because I've layered all my fabrics on top of one another, I just keep going by adding these in the same repetition. And then what you'll find is my red is opposite my red, my brown is opposite my brown, my white is opposite my white. This beautiful colour here is opposite. We're almost there. And you can see what we've got now is you've now bulked out your Tula fabric, your Tilda fabric, and you can see here where I've used 20 blades to make it all the same. By doing that, I actually think you heighten the definition of your fabric and it gives you such a great contrast. You're able to then tell exactly how beautiful the fabric is because you've got those dots of white in between them. I think they're great. This one I'm gonna do a very, I'm not sure, how long have I got? Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is each one of these, when I sew these together, you're going to sew two together, two together, two together, two together. I'm going to try and do half and I'll show you why. I'm not going to do anything differently with these. I'm going to keep my white on the top. And what's important is when you're sewing these together, be consistent. So if your white's on top for the first one, make sure your white is on top for all of them. And you'll see why in a moment. Because when you do sew these together, and also if you're putting the large end in first, just be consistent. So if your white's on top, large in first, you do that for all of them. It just makes your life that little bit easier because the number of times I've sewn these together and I've not been consistent with it. And then when I come to do the Dresden, sew it all together, you've got bits that are a bit random and sewn together incorrectly and you don't want that. So I'll sew five of these together because then you can see what a half Dresden looks like. Now when you're doing these, 
the thing to remember is you are making sure that you're lining up the top section, the, the, the fat end of the wedge, for the want of a better description. And the reason being is that if things don't line up in the middle, it doesn't matter because you're going to stick a giant big circle over it. So if you're out in the middle, it doesn't matter at all because what's important is this section up here lines up perfectly because over here it doesn't matter. That's going to have a big circle on it. So all I'm doing now is I'm opening these up and checking I've got these in the right order and I've gone a bit wonky there. But because I've got these opposite, I know that these are going to all be perfect there. So that's there and that's there. So what I'm doing now is I've got my loads of twos. I then pop that on top of this. And again, I'm lining these two up perfectly. And that's where I want to meet. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to make two into four. I'll just do one more of these. And then two into four again. And then where we've got a whole load of fours now, your fours will become eights and your eights will become sixteens. And you can see how quickly this comes together. So you've got two options. You can either make your fours eights and you can have two lots of eight and then end up with a four. Or you can sew these into a ten and then having another ten. It's entirely up to you. So the ruler is such a great ruler. £20.99 designed by Lynn Edwards by quilters for quilters and make sure you hang on to those um, instructions because they're really really handy being able to refer back to different ways of suggesting on how to do it and doing your halves and quarters. Such a great great ruler that. That's the Dresden Creative Grids ruler and that's what you're looking at. One of them. Now we've got our 8-inch Creative Scrap Crazy rulers. Now I love these Scrap Crazy rulers. This is just a rough demonstration of how to use these. So I'll put this out. So that is what the Scrap Crazy looks like. You're getting three different prongs of ruler here. Uh, those are the instructions. I need an extra hand for these. You can pop them here. And you're getting this wonderful set of instructions with it. So you're getting A and B, C and D, and the blocks that you make out of them look roughly like this. And I'm going to show you how to cut these out. It's such an easy way of doing it. Um, and what you're doing is so good, because if you forget, it doesn't matter. You just open your instructions. There's a cutting guide here. It's how best to cut these out for you. It also tells you roughly how big to cut all of these strips. This is a six inch strip of fabric, so it says to cut temp... Ooh to cut templates from a six inch strip and it shows you how to place all your rulers on here to get the best cut out of everything which I love and literally all you're doing then is you're just going around and you're cutting these out all the way along and if I was clever I would have used my wonderful rotating cutting mat to start with to do this because the rotating cutting mat definitely comes into its own for this type of cutting. I do love these cutting mats, they're fab. So all I'm doing now is I'm following this beautiful template on number D and cutting my lines out there. And you can see I've got so little waste on this, it's fabulous. So those are my Ds. And this rotating cutting mat is £32.99 today. Now what I love about this as well, because I am not only so cutting this on live telly, what's so good is now that I've cut this out, this side I know is flat and this side I know is flat and they're perfectly lined up. All I do now is I rotate these onto here. I've already cut my Ds. And then what I do now is I line my C line up exactly. And then I just rotate my cutting mat to the area I want to trim off. Rotate again. And you can see you've got so little waste with this. I love that with a ruler.
Now with the C's, you're going to need two lots of C's. And then I'm going to pop my C on this way round. Now this edge is completely square because we've just cut it already. So all I'm doing now is I'm doing that. And again, I just pick my C's up here, line that up perfectly there. And my last section. So you need two sets of C's. So that's going to be there, that's going to be there. And then I need one number B. Now I know that that's flat because I've just cut it. I'm going to line my template A up, my template B up here. You'll see it says cutting line for template B. I line that up perfectly there. And because this is, I've already cut that line, I hold that there. Oops. Perfect. And then I cut that down there. And because I've now got three lines already cut out, the one I've just cut, the bottom line, and over here, there's my section B cut out. I know this probably feels a little bit long-winded to you, but I promise you, you'll see it, all the magic coming together now. Because in that little bit of time, all I've done now, so that's perfectly lined up. Hang on, my fabric slipped a little. There we go, that's perfectly lined up there. I'm going to cut that there. And then our very last cutting line, that one there. So now what we have is I've now cut out all five of those templates, but what's great is I actually have five blocks. So if I take that as my first piece, I take that as my second piece, and then I'm going to take my number A, that is my third piece, and then Third, that's my fourth piece now. Oh, that's this. No, it's not the same. I'm going to take that piece over there. That's my fourth piece. And then last but not least, there's my, I'm going to move that one over to this one. My fifth piece. You've cut out five different blocks. So if you then just start rotating these along, you can see as you're going along, you have created all of these wonderful different blocks using all of your fabrics and they're all ready. They're all lined up and you've cut out enough, however many layers of fabric you've got there, you've cut them all out ready to go. And it's just such a great way of being able to do it. And you just sew these two together first those two together second, that onto there, and then you sew those together. And then the colorway, what do I do with them? There they are. And then all you do is once you've sewn them together, you just keep sewing them in all different directions to create this wonderful scrap crazy quilt. That's one of the suggestions that they give you. It's just such a lovely, lovely way of being able to use it. Now you see, I've used a whole load of coordinating fabrics here. You don't have to. Just use your scraps, literally use your scraps. And you can just take these templates and you get those done from there. These are £22.99 for this ruler. Really, really good, that one. Now we have the fabulous roundup tool, and I have to say I am very excited about our little roundup tool that we have here today. I had a little bit of a play with this, and it's lovely, but it is curves. Curves terrify me, but this one doesn't terrify me anywhere near as much as it could. So what is so great, let me show you the ruler first of all. This is the ruler, what it looks like. And then these are the wonderful set of instructions that come with it. It's called the roundup tool. And you're going to be able to create so many different options with this ruler. So the first thing I created was one of these, a quarter circle, terrifying, 
but so easy to do. So, so easy to do. So what I did here, um, I'm going to clean this edge up by taking that little ruler there. So all you would do is you have your wonderful flat edge here. You get a nice straight edge. And you've got your wonderful ruler. Now on the ruler you'll see you've got two different sizes. You can see that's a bigger size um, uh, a quarter, uh, quarter circle. I'm going to do the four inch radius circle and you'll see you've got this wonderful marking line over here. So all you do is you line these up to the edge of your fabric over here and then once you've got that all perfectly lined up you then take your ruler, your rotary cutter, hold it against the ruler as you go round and voila you've got all these wonderful quarter, quarter squares, quarter, quarter circles and then you can create them how you like. Because we've got some really lovely tilde fabric here today there are so many different ways of doing it and then once you've created this you can do anything you like with all of these. You can sew them however you like. Once they're all sewn up, you can do a half. You can do a half circle here. And the good thing is as well, even though you've got off cuts, I'm going to show you how you can use those in a moment. But what's so fabulous about this is you just sew these together into one of those, get some bonder web, bonder web that down, put it onto a lovely piece of fabric, and you've just got something so clever and unique. So that is one of the uses for this ruler. Another use, I adore this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just show you. I'm going to just square this fabric up just to make your life a little bit easier. And you're not wasting a huge amount of fabric at all. I'm just going to square this up here. There we go. What you're doing next is, because I'm using the 4 inch radius at the moment, you then have got this wonderful orange peel. If you want to do the 5 inch, you can. I've got enough fabric to do it there. You can then see all I've got there is this, this edge. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to line these over here. So you can, oops, I've got my, that was why I wasn't lining up. I had it pressed on top of a ruler. So I've got my, my black lines lined up to that point there. And just like I did with a four inch one, I'm going to curve around like that. Okay. Then all I do, I should have put that on the rotating cutting mat. I then take it like that. And then what I do next is you can see this black line over here. I line that up to the edge I've just cut. And then I cut these out. Now, if you can do this in one flowing motion, it would be helpful. And I'll show you why. So you've now created your orange peels. And you can see how fabulous they look. I'm going to pop that one there. And what you do is you just position these ready. Now remember we've got a quarter inch seam to play with here. Now with that you can then go and applique those onto just a piece of fabric. So we can just, I didn't have a big enough piece of fabric in our scrap bin of cream. So all you're doing here is you're just going to see, I think this will all fit, yes it will. You can see you can line these up and you can follow the circle around beautifully. By doing that, and you can do that. However, I'm just going to extend, extend, expand these a little bit because you've got all these pieces here. So these pieces, with seam allowances, I know seam allowances are going to play a role. You can sew these onto the edges here, and you can then create a central piece. I haven't tried that, but I'm thinking that you can. I'm 90% sure you could because you have got these left over and it does say in the diagram you can. But it makes it's very easy to do. You sew those together and then using your quarter inch seam and sewing your curves, you can sew those on there. It makes sense that you can. I've not tried it. But even if you don't do that, you've got a beautiful, beautiful orange peel design that you can just do there. Now what I did with this one... Um, I used a smaller one as well. I cut the four inches as well. So those were the bigger ones. If you didn't want to use Bonderweb, 
one of your Soline glue pens. If you're wanting to lay this down, all you're going to do is you're going to pop some of this glue on the edge there. You then position that onto your piece of fabric. You then do it exactly the same on this side. You're going to get the main edges there. You position that there. Just going to position these in the right place just to double check they're going to work. But if they don't, it doesn't matter because the glue stick, you just pick it up and rotate it round. And that's the good thing about not using the bonder web, is by using your Solan glue pen, you can then just move the fabric if you need to. So you can see that one's too high. All I do is I lift that up, rotate it down a little bit. And the reason I'm showing you this is, once you've got these orange peels on, you then just maneuver this to get it into the correct place. That needs to come a little bit this way. There we go. And then all you do is you take it through to your sewing machine and you just sew and do your stitching all around there. You can do a blanket stitch however you like. But it is such a beautiful, beautiful design. It's such a lovely way. And then if you want to expand on it, now if these are bigger, obviously, please remember these are five inches. All you do is you just add to them this way and you just keep going and you just keep adding to them and you get this wonderful design all the way there. It's just such a nice, nice ruler. Lovely way of doing that. So this is going, that was our wonderful roundup tool. And it's such a lovely shape as well. Really lovely. That's $24.99 today. And then last but not least in my wonderful demos for you of our wonderful creative grids today is our 45 degree kaleidoscope triangle ruler. They look like little mountains, don't they? Again, you've got the wonderful set of instructions available for you here. And what you're doing is you're going to sew your fabric into four and a half inch strips or just using plain fabric. So you can just get normal plain fabric and cut them into four and a half inch strips. And you can see I've got one there. And what you do then is you put your ruler on top of it. You line it up with the way you meant to line that all together and you start trimming down and you get a whole load of your wonderful different diagrams, uh, your wonderful triangles here. Oh, got that the wrong way around. And you can see it's just such a nice way of being able to show your showcase your fabrics in such a really lovely, fun, vibrant way. There we go. And you can see that it just shows your fabric off beautifully. Um, we've got these Maori, Maori batiks there. Look at that one as well. It's just such a nice way of being able to show your fabrics off such a great way of doing it and a lovely way of using it as well because on this one as well when you've got the four four fabrics as you cut your pieces out in fact have I got to have I got a minute perfect so I'm you know I like less steps in my process so I always try and double layer these and what you do now I'm rotating this the wrong way around there we go all you do next is you line that up So there we go, I've now got eight pieces there. And as I put these together, you can see, and literally it's one of those rulers that you will use, play with and use, and then change your mind completely and do something so different. And what's so great is you can change it. You can do a solid piece there and two inner pieces, or you can just do so many different ways of being able to use this ruler. That's $24.99 there for that ruler. Really, really good. 45 degree kaleidoscope, tri uh, kale uh, kaleidoscope triangle ruler. So that is such a great way as well. I can't believe that hour's flown so quickly. We're gonna be back in a few minutes. We're just gonna redo the set and get Faye back on. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw, and as a professional sewer, 
I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric, and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colors that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle Channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello, my name is Sally Stevens. I'm from Worcestershire, a little town called Upton upon Severn, which is a lovely little riverside town. And not far from there, I also have a little sewing studio so I can work and leave all my mess left out um, when I'm preparing projects and quilts and so on. My speciality is, in fact, quilting, patchwork and quilting. And I probably started that when I was about 14 years ago. So as I often joke, that was only seven years ago. In fact, it was rather a lot longer, but I've always enjoyed crafting and patchwork really hooked me and I love it. So now then, what can I tell you? Some, something you may not realise about me is that although lots of you have seen me many, many times on, um, on sewing TV and classes, because I, I teach as well, um, I also do a lot of unpicking. So don't be afraid ever. If you have to unpick things, so do we. It's not a problem. We all have to start somewhere. And sometimes you get a bit cocky and think, oh, I can just do that without pinning or without this. And then you think, ah should have paid attention to my own words. So some sewing tips for you. That's one, keep a, a seam ripper handy. That will always be your friend. And um, another one that I think is very important, whether you're a, a beginner or more experienced, when you're sewing something, particularly for the first time, a new technique, slow down. There's no rush, it's not a race. Have a little practice with spare fabrics if you've got them before you use your best fabric that you've just purchased so you get your techniques just right but also slow down take your time watch what you're doing think about what you're doing and read the instructions that's always very useful so what can i say i've been asked to say what my claim to fame might be and i would have to say in all honesty being on sewing street
Hello and welcome back. I'm John Cole Morgan and we've got a really wonderful idea today with Faye Clements back again doing this gorgeous coat today. It's called the Cocoon Jacket today. And we've got, we've got two fabulous fabric bundles that go with it. This is new to us today, isn't it? Brand new to us today. Um, and it's so, so pretty. Such a gorgeous jacket. Beautiful detailing on the sleeves. Gorgeous pockets. I'm not sure if we can see it from there. The pockets are beautifully, beautifully lined as well. Love that. That's a brand new today with us today at Sewing Street. And these are $14.99 again for the patterns. $14.99 again for the patterns there. That's also, that's cheaper than Sew Difference website itself, isn't it? We're just double checking that. We think we are. Oh, hello. So we are back now. Don't know what happened there. Um, so we've got some fabulous bundles as well for you today with this, um, this kit. So we've got two different colorways here. This one is a little bit darker. Oh, it feels so beautiful. How much is the, how much is in this fabric of the navy? It feels. We're just double checking the size on this, but there's loads of fabric here. It feels like loads. Just look how beautiful they are and they feel so luxurious, really pretty. Really lovely combination here. Nice little dark um, medium weight cotton denim fabric here. So you're getting three and a half meters in total. We're just double checking which one is which. I think this is this is two meters and that one and a half, or is it the other way around? Two meters of which one? Two meters of the of the denim. Brilliant. So you're getting two meters of this beautiful denim, and look how beautiful that is. It's such a lovely feel to that. And then you're getting a meter and a half of this coordinating fabric as well. Just beautiful. This one's called the dark blue denim cocoon jacket fabric bundle. $33.99, such a great price on that. So that's the dark blue, and is this one the medium blue? So this one's the medium blue, really lovely, gorgeous colorway as well there. And again, you're getting two meters of this 100% cotton denim. That's a medium weight denim there. And then you've got this wonderful little color combination there, the color coordinate there, meter and a half of that one. So two meters of the denim, meter and a half of the coordinate for $33.99. But this price, it's such a great price. I can't believe that it's such a good value there. Three and a half meters of this wonderful fabric here, two meters of the denim, meter and a half of this wonderful coordinate with it. It's really lovely. And again, it makes this gorgeous coat just over here. This is the colorway that we're working. This is the, the kit that we've got here. Um, which is what our sample's been made of. Really beautiful, and it feels lovely. And this again is the Cocoon Jacket pattern, $14.99 today, brand new to Sewing Street with us today. And we've got the fabulous Clay Fit Clements. Let me do that again. The fabulous Faye Clements coming to show us how to make that. While we're getting her on it's safely, we're just gonna remind you how it is that you can buy with us. We'll be right back. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. And we're back. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. The fabulous Clay Clements. Clay, you've done I've it done again. It again. <laughs> Clay Clements. Faye Clay, Clay Clements. Clements. I've never had tongue twisters like that before. Sorry about that, Clay oh, Clements. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, 
oh brilliant I do that all the time I keep calling yeah. Hannah Haley and oh, yeah. Haley Hannah well there's quite a few Haley's is. here isn't there, there yeah, well so. there are a few yes yeah. mm-hmm. it's a popular name aren't these kids it's amazing gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous we were just talking about it in the break it's such a lovely feel mm-hmm. and the thing is as well I know people can't feel these fabrics but this coordinating fabric as well yeah, lovely. so soft really soft yeah really beautiful such a nice, so... it was such a lovely fabric to work with honestly it was uh, you can see the result there and it's gorgeous. the contrast with the with obviously this is light this is light and you've got these that are slightly darker on the indigo denim and it was yeah it was a lovely lovely thing to work with yeah so tell me a little bit about you because some people may not have seen our last hour uh yeah well i i hail from uh, north yorkshire god's own country um yeah and i work as well i trained as a costume maker um so i've worked in television and theater making costumes so i've done um, um the, I suppose the most famous one I've worked on was, was Outlander, which is uh, historically it's set in the 18th century. So I've made, I made lots of uh, products for them when I worked up in Scotland. On the, uh, but I've also worked in theatre as well, uh, and I've worked on film sets as well, so I'm monitoring the continuity and running in, in between takes, sorting things out and then running back out again, uh, getting people dressed and ready for, uh, for shoots and things. So. So yeah, I've done quite a bit, and I've just done lots of freelance stuff as well, individual clients. Brilliant. And, yeah, so all sorts. Yeah. It's definitely in your blood. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Brilliant. So you're making the cocoon jacket yeah, the for cocoon us today. Yeah, cocoon jacket, yeah. Uh, so this one, I've made, you can see on the side, that's oh, it's beautiful. size 14, that one. Uh, so again, I'm, I'm working to a 14 here. Brilliant. Really. Do you stri- normally make the jacket? Because you said previously that that was a 10. Yeah. So this is my si- this was my size, yes. but I, I've made this one to go on the mannequin. So I've on a, actually that's, that's a size 12 mannequin. So it actually looks alright on the 12. It looks 12. great. But I did well, make I know the 14. Some, a lot of people make their jackets yeah. and they're always a lot bigger mm-hmm. because they just look much yeah. better. Yeah. I mean the style bigger. with it being cocoon, it's it, the style is, like. is 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 oversized. So yeah. Uh, but no, it was it was a, such a lovely fabric to work with and Brilliant. making the pockets. It's what main thing I'm going to show you is how to do the pockets. Uh, I know. So it's just a little peak, little peak of colour, isn't it? Oh there? my goodness! Oh, you're choking again. Sorry, the egg on <laughs> Greg catches me every time. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> so I'm just ironing out my, my denim. It's been folded up. Oh no, ironing board. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Whoops, 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 whoops. I don't know if you can iron on the cutting mat. Oh, but right, I'd rather well, you didn't. No, just no, no that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> sorry. I like that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Like Hawkeye, aren't you? <laughs> it's that, and if you leave your rotary cutter blade open, yeah. I'm on it. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm like that with Rory Cutters. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, so uh, where's my other piece gone? Uh, so you've enjoyed working with the pattern? Yeah, really straightforward pattern, actually. Uh, so, yeah, really uh, really easy to work with. The pockets were really easy to make as well. And they're so, so uh, effective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, right, let me just work out my pieces here. Make sure I've got the right one. So it's it does have a li- um, a facing or lining. So I, d- I have actually cut. I'll just show you both sides mm-hmm. so you can see the detail. It does have a like a reaver collar, <coughs> although it's designed um, not to be turned back. So you can just see there. Let me just find my second piece hidden. It's always the way. Whenever I'm looking for demo pieces, they're always there. Another back piece. Well, I'm just looking now. We've got loads of messages online. It's great. Do you mind if I do that while you find it? No, I've found it now. Oh, there uh, we go. Perfect. (laughs) Right. Just checking. I've got... Is one side meant to be longer than the other? Yes. Just checking. (laughs) That's that's why I was looking for the right piece. Yeah, don't worry. Brilliant. I've done this before, you know. I know. (laughs) I didn't doubt that for a second. <laughs> but you know when people do their well, demos. Well, no, no, that's a good point because then it means I can, I can talk about it. Exactly. So, yeah. So the makeup of the front of the jacket, it's actually two pieces, so a top and a bottom, and the pocket's going here. Okay. Right. So what I've got in front of me at the moment, I have, it's two fronts, but this p- longer piece is actually going to be the lining or the facing piece. Okay. So when it comes to the pattern, now do I have the pattern here? So the pattern is actually, this is full length, so this is for the facings. But what I've actually done, when you get this pattern, when you're making the facing, you actually need to put two pieces together because it does come separate. So that's my bottom of the jacket. You can see that there, it says says bottom on it. And it says front top there. Okay, so when it comes to making your facing, you do need to stick these pieces together. Perfect. Okay, but you do need, obviously, two, two of your fronts 
uh, two of the lining, so two of the top, two of the bottom for the front. Okay, this will make sense as I go along. Okay, so I'll put my back piece down and we're going to work. I've just figured it out. Of what? course, you're putting the back to front. I yeah. completely understand it now. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what that was meaning there. <laughs> right, so, so I've got my, just check that the curve matches. There we go, yeah. That's right, yeah. So these are going to go on this way. And that's easy to figure out because obviously yep. two are the same size and yep. one isn't. So what I've done as well, and what it will tell you to do, is to clip some notches. So again, if I'll just grab my Perfect. pattern. But that's in the pattern, or isn't it? Is it is in the pattern, yeah. Because what's going to... And you're clipping notches in the other side as well. Yeah, so you've got notches here. So this is where, so I, and this is where I can get the nice pattern denim out. So this is the pocket piece. So that's denim as well? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise this I think, was I denim as well. It's it a really feels light, like a really nice yeah. light cotton. Yeah. Oh, they're both denim? Are they, are they, Sorry, I didn't realise. I thought they're both denim. Oh, yeah. both denim. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. One's yeah. a lightweight, one's a medium yeah. weight. Now let me just check that. He's definitely... But it's such a great price for this bundle. Because this feels so incredible, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm just checking I've still got the correct piece there. Making sure it matches. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, that's the one I want. Got that many pieces that look the same. Because I was about to stitch that to the wrong piece say, there. I was going to say, you haven't yeah. written on these ones because you can't really see the blue, can you? Right, let me check that I'm definitely working with the right, yeah. That's the wrong way around. That's why, yeah, it was the wrong way around. That's why I couldn't work it out. There we go. Don't mind me glad making those suggestions. That's You're okay fine. With that. You'll keep me in check. Kidding. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so he who's I'm never right sewn now. any form of jacket. It's all right. Whole it's life. fine. It's perfectly fine. So, so I've got my two. So I've got my top and the bottom here. Yeah, I'm right now. I know what I'm doing now. Really? So now we need to work on our pockets first. So the way this works, and I have actually drawn a little arrow uh, on my piece there just so I know which which way the pattern's going to go good and it is going to be right sides together and is that between your little notches that you cut yeah. out yeah so we lay this can we see a little notch yep. there so we lay that between our notches okay and so we've done that to the bottom piece I now need to do that to my top piece and again I'm just checking my arrow to make sure the pattern is going the correct way. So, yeah, so that is how it should look. Oh my goodness. Okay, and they're going to get just get stitched just straight across like that. And those are wrong sides together? Uh, so they're, they're right, right sides together. To the fabric, they to, the fabric. to themselves, they're yep. the wrong sides yep. together, right? Yep. So we'll just start to stitch them. Well, I'll pin them in place for a sec. Ooh, where's my pins disappeared to? Behind you, I'm sorry. Go. So yeah, just make sure that it's in between in between your notches. So yeah, I feel like I'm doing pockets all day today. I did the pockets. <laughs> did but the they're the important bits yeah. and they're the bits but people think, get stuck yeah, on. And, but this is, this is quite, in a way it's quite straightforward, these pockets, but the effect is really, really nice. It is. Because um, you might look at that and think, oh, that looks great, how would you, how would you do that? But it's, it's actually quite straightforward. And it's nice to know that it's achievable at home. Exactly. Yeah. It's a nice sense of uh, accomplishment when you when you make something like that. Exactly. And it's just got this little hint and everyone will ask, oh, how, you know, where have you got that from? Where, how did you do that? And, yeah, so, so, and that's, that's what's always so nice. great about patterns like this is mm. that you can adapt them how yeah. you like. Because if you didn't want to use this fabric, you could use this as, I don't know how much fabric you needed for this. You might you, be able to use that for the whole. Yeah, you, you, don't, you won't use very much because all it, you're using that fa the pattern one is just for the pockets of and course. for the sleeve. The sleeves. You will have loads, loads left, left over. over. Do you, how much fabric do you actually need to make the jacket for the main colour? The main, oh. I'm just trying a couple of metres. I'm just trying to think how wide it is. Because I think these are, we're getting I mean, two metres of yeah, this. Yeah, you're getting a lot there. You'll have, you'll have plenty, plenty of that for the main body. I'm just wondering if you'd have enough to be able to make this as the base for the top, uh, where your colour is the top, and then be able to do two out of these. Because there's so potentially, much yeah, With some clever cutting, you yeah, probably potentially, could. Yeah, um, potentially. But yeah, a bit but, of a patchwork back, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose you could do that bottom edge. Yeah. In that, yeah, Could and just keep keep the, like. keep the pockets plain, and just do that bottom edge Be a different, yeah. Um, so yeah, you will have laws left over. I was just thinking because when I first came on, uh, 
because this is the third, my third, third appearance and the first time I came on I did um, um, a bucket hat. That'll be oh, perfect really? for a bucket. So if you've That's got the such a good yeah, idea. if you've got the pattern for the book, or if it's uh, if we've still got it on the website, that would well, we be had go another gorgeous. Hat recently, yeah. um, Tom is one of our designers. We mm. did a flat cap. For yeah, him, I did that Tom's as well. Flat cap. I did was that, that you? It was me. Yeah. Sorry, Faye. <laughs> but that is such a good yeah. cap. That would work really yeah. well for this as well. Yeah. So uh, I can highly recommend doing that. It'd be yeah, lovely in that fabric because it was reversible as well. That flat cap. Um, the, the bucket hat. So yeah, I'm just going to stitch them down. So again, one and a half centimetre seam. There we go. And I'm just going to start again with the back tack. So I'm hearing now for to make the maximum size in this coat, you're going to need 3.25 meters. Is that right? Perfect. And we've got two meters in this bundle. Oh, that's in total. So that'll be about all the coordinates together. You'd need 3.25. So that's why our whole bundle is 3.5 meters. You've got more than enough there to make your whole coat out of that. Okay. So I've just stitched. So the top piece of the front. So you can see there. That's the top. Yep. Okay, so the pocket will end up folding down like that. Okay, perfect. Then so I'll do the bottom one again, just straight across. And you're sewing literally from the edge of the fabric, completely off the edge of the fabric. Yeah, or... so just perfect. edge to edge. Yeah, I'm edge not leaving edge. a gap or anything. Oh, I think I just lost my threads there. Let's pull them back. Again, start with back tack. And then I'm going to give these a bit of a press. So we've got our two pieces there. Okay, so I'm going to press them up that way. Mm -hmm. And the other one down. Hang on, let me check what I'm doing here. <clears throat> so what will happen is, yeah, so we'll get pressed down that way. And up that way. And that way. And then what will happen is... Just don't forget the ironing board. Yes. <laughs> I've got it. It's here. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> then it's going to be a stitch from this corner here to here, and then we pivot and then go all the way around the pocket Ooh. up there and, then and out. The way down. So then oh, we've got that's the opening. Fabulous. Yep. Yep. So I will just press them down. So yeah, when you look at it, you think actually that's quite straightforward. Mm. So, yeah. Sometimes the simplest. Sewing can have the biggest effect. And they behave really well, these fabrics as well, because they're obviously cotton. So uh, not like the dress fabric sometimes. <laughs> They do feel very... Thin, they are lovely. I mean, I've, I have been very impressed with the quality that, that mm. we get here, actually. Um, so, yeah, such lovely denim. Really nice. And the patterns as well are just gorgeous. They really are. Yeah. And the thing is, as well, I'm not sure how they get the pricing. It's so good. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. But I do think that the colour combinations are so well done for these. Yeah. So, Which is your favourite? Do you prefer the lighter or the darker? I prefer the darker. I love this... That's beautiful, Rose. isn't it? Yeah, so pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. Maybe you do dark for night, going for an <laughs> evening one and a light one yeah. for the day. Mm. The thing is, at that price, it's very easy to do. Yeah, and they're really quick to knock up as well. Um, again, because there's no, there's no real shaping, there's no darts. Mm. It's, again, like, like the dress, it's one of those that you can, because with this you don't have a, any zip. Uh, with this, there's no darting or anything, so Brilliant. it's straightforward to put together. So as you can see there, I've just laid them on top of each other. 
Okay, so there's, you can see the where I've pressed the pockets down. Perfect. So the bottom piece then layers on the top, uh, right sides together. So there's nothing really to match up here other than the two Yeah, ends. Yeah, it's just, yeah, so it's just the notches there. And then the, the sides, and, then the and sides. obviously the bottom of your pocket. Yeah, and then, yeah, so all you need to do is make sure that, that this, follows this, this follows yeah. and that's straight, okay. And none of these pieces are cut on the fold, by the way. Um, oh, that's good to know. Yeah. 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 So I'll just start pinning that together. So when I get to what I'm going to do, if I just use my erasable pen and tape measure, I'm just going to measure. Oh, this is nicely rolled up. So we'll work with one and a half centimetre seams. So I'm just going to check where one and a half is here, just so I can mark where I want to pivot. Okay, so, oh, I'm, going right. to, so I'm going to come into there, pivot, and then Go all stitch the way around. Yeah. Oh, that's a top tip. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm just, I'm just lining it up with the edge, my pocket there, and just measuring one and a half centimetres from that edge. And again, I might just... I was going to say, do you do it in the bottom as well, yeah. just to get those points? Yeah. So we'll just pin or these. Or your old hat at it, you know exactly how far away it is. I, yeah, you can, yeah. I'm quite, I can do it by eye, usually. But obviously... But you've made it, a few. Yeah. <laughs> in your time. Yeah. But, uh, but obviously, demoing, you know, you need to show. Because um, sometimes, you know, if you're not used to doing it by eye, then it might be quite difficult. Uh, so let me just... So yeah, anyway, I mean, I know I haven't really put a lot of markings on here, but put as many markings on as you want. Um, I often use um, carbon paper and a tracing wheel. Or, oh, right. Uh, and that's kind of standard within in costume and um, construction and things like that. Uh, or you could just use a bit of chalk, or again, just heat your erasable pen, whichever way you like to work. Let's check that. Just so I know... Following, loosely following the um, one and a half. There we go. So I'll just carry on pinning. And when you start pinning, is this this as well as or with any garment? Just you need to visualise as well when you're taking it to the machine. Which way am I going to start? So I'm actually going to start this way. So. Isn't it easier starting this way because then you haven't got as much in the throat? Well, then I can oh, no, pivot here. Sorry, I was looking yeah. at it backwards. Yes, that's right. Yeah. It's exactly but the same thing. I was looking at the wrong way around. Yeah, but it's easy enough done where I'll pin it and then I'll take it off and I've, and I've made it awkward for myself. <laughs> <laughs> We've <laughs> all done yeah, that Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. But uh, it's just one of the things sometimes you're just so desperate to get it on the machine and get it made because you're excited to make it and then mm. you completely forget about um, how you're going to proceed when you get to the machine. So the... Pens that we're using at the moment, if you do want the friction ball pens, they're in your graphics at the moment. So have a little double check on our website. We've got a wonderful kit combination of the black, blue, green and red. Yes, black, blue, green and red for £14.96. It's a really good combination of colours there. They work really, really well. Because the thing is, you want if you've got black fabric, you don't want a black pen. Then your red and your greens would come in a lot handier as well. So you'll be able to do those very easily. And these are the friction pens that they iron off immediately after mm -hmm. using, don't they? Yeah. I remember when I first came across friction pens, it was like finding the holy grail or something, because I never knew they existed. Okay, so there's one more pin in there. Oh, I've got a bent pin. <clears throat> okay, so we're all pinned now. Brilliant. So I'll take it over to the machine. Now be honest, if you were in your own studio doing this, you wouldn't have pinned that, would you? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> You know me too well already. <laughs> well, I just know myself, well, I wouldn't is, do. But the thing is about this, because it behaves itself, and, and I'm much more confident in yeah. thinking, yeah, I, not, with this I wouldn't. Oh, no, other, no, no, uh, no, no. Yeah, because this is but much more lighter. But cotton's a little bit thicker, because the denim's a little yeah. bit thicker, then you might be Yeah, so it doesn't shift around it, as much, so. but, but yeah, um, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't. It's the right way to do it. Yeah. It's yeah. the right way to do it. Yeah. Right, now, so. Now, be safe as you go over these. Yeah, I'll remember to remove them. So yeah, just starting from the edge, so you don't need to, like the previous make, I 
don't need to start one and a half centimetres in. Am I on one and a half? I'm going to be looking at the messages that uh, are coming through on the Facebook group, if you don't mind, at the same time yep, as you're doing fine. that. Yep, that's fine. I'm just going to change my stitch. Oh, there sorry. That's right. I yeah. changed on oh, a that's okay. And that's I increased fine. the stitch length as well. You were that's at 1.8. You're okay that's with that? That's fine. Yep. <clears throat> oh, we've had a message in from Sarah Bolam. Hello, Sarah. Lovely to hear from you. She says, loving the shows this morning. Faye is amazing. Aww. Completely agree with you. Sarah was, has been on a few times as well, yeah. like yourself. She's lovely. Aww. Christine Cummings is um, watching via YouTube. Nice to have you, Christine. Oh, my. Christine was watching us on... I look positively blue. <laughs> Not oh. sure what happened there. Oh, and Pam Baker saying she's loving my shirt. Thank you very hmm. much, Pam. I think I should have just sent the shirt in to work today. <laughs> I'll have to get you making a shirt. Mm, I'll one, show day. You. Yeah. one day. One <laughs> day. <laughs> so I've just pivoted, and then I'm just sewing down the first side. Of and the that's then keeping that line that you drew up earlier. Yeah. So yeah, sticking to the one and a half centimeters. Perfect. Yeah, so I've drawn my mark there, so I'm just going to stitch down to the mark that I've already prepared. So if you get to a point like that, you might want to stop and then do it by hand. Right. So that you hit, hit your mark. And then just straight across. See, now you can see that my pin is in an awkward position. We've all done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So again, I'm just heading towards my mark, slow down, and let me just stop and do one more stitch. There we go. And pivot again. Straight up this time. It does behave a lot better with pins in it, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got about 22, 23 minutes left. Okay, yeah, hand. that's fine. I thought it was a bit unfair to only give you five minutes at the end. I thought I'd give you a bit more notice this time as we go along. <laughs> no, it worked out perfectly the last it hour. It did. It worked out very well. And in this hour, you're going to make a whole jacket in 20 minutes. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, fair. So I'm on the home straight now. So I've just got to the top of the pocket there. And, and stitch to the edge there. going to end with a back tuck. There we go. And we'll open this out and press it and then you can see, you can actually see how straightforward it is in a way to um, to create it and make it look nice because it does look, it's one of them things it's just really satisfying. Mm. Uh, you don't I'll, I'll tell you a tip with that pin holder. Yeah. Dump your, your pins on the table, just hold the bottom of it. And you can go and hoover them all up because it's magnetic. Oh well, I've got I've got a magnetic pin. Brilliant, yeah, aren't yeah. They? I've got that exact yeah, one. This so you don't want to you don't want to suck up one in the hoover, do you? So yeah. Oh, no. yeah. What's a hoover? <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> not my department. Oh, I'm actually just going to re-stitch one of my lines there because I've done it as a. Oh, perfect. Yes. Um, but that's the great thing is because yeah. you've used a different thre a lighter thread, you can tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've got it on the right length now. So I'll just quickly go back over that. Oh, I'm hearing we've got that magnetic pin dish back in stock now. Really pleased about that, but they are fabulous. I've got two in my studio, one at my desk and then one at the cutting mat. And it really, they are brilliant, especially in here as well in the studio. We have hundreds of pins all over the place and I only wear slippers in the studio. So you'll find me every time before I'm going on air, I'm going around with my little pin, that pin box, trying to collect all the pins. They are fabulous. Really, really good. And it's got that gorgeous rose gold in it as well. They're so lovely. Okay, so from the front... I saw somebody the other day posted on the Facebook fans page. Um, I think it might have been Jan Hill. And she'd lost all of her pins mm. and couldn't find them. Turned her pin cushion, <laughs> her rose gold thing over and all her pins were caught underneath brilliant. it. They're so, really good. So if we look at the back before I do the big oh, reveal. Oh, brilliant. That's what it looks like from the back. 
and from the front. And now for pressing, you'd be pressing that towards the bottom? Yes. Yeah, Brilliant. so and that's what it looks like from the front. So How fabulous. Lovely, isn't it? Now, it doesn't mention... <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. just No, no, that's good. Way. You're keeping me in check. That's good. Sorry. That's all right. Now, it doesn't mention um, doing any top stitching or anything. Oh, in, okay. In, so, but, so I haven't done any. Um, but we if don't you, think it needs it, Yeah, it doesn't it, need it. Because it, no. it, I mean, the weight of the puppet should hold it down yeah, anyway. and it's, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to press that down. Actually, maybe I'll do it from the front to start with. Because what we want to do is try, try and get this edge crisp, but not so that Showing it droops. Out, yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm on the sewing bee watching you here. I find it hard to watch the sewing bee. Because I kind of, I feel really sorry for them. Because I know what it's like to be under pressure to sew something. Oh, it, it reminds me of when I was a student and, oh. Well, I did the Kirsty's Homemade Christmas Makes two years ago. Oh, okay. And you have six hours to make your make. Yeah. And I stupidly said, oh, I'll make a quilt. <laughs> <laughs> Making a quilt fully bound. And yeah. it was the worst thing I've ever made in the history of the universe. It was dreadful, <laughs> but they were very kind. But it is quite taunting when they say you have 20 minutes left. No, it just reminds me when I was a student and just doing like my final collection when I was studying um, fashion design uh, doing my final collection and oh just because you couldn't get everyone was there at once no one could get in a machine and rushing around oh, oh, no. oh. it was just yeah I had so much stress but anyway it's all, all done with now <laughs> so that's it's pressed and that's what it looks like that's beautiful yeah. so we've just got a nice edge there but it's that that detail of that pocket is so yeah. brilliant yeah so what? I feel like if I did make a shirt, I'd need a pocket like that. All right, okay. I'd need to have a little pocket yeah. here with different lining on the inside. Yeah, would be nice. I like that yeah. idea. Yeah, so that is... How again... did we go from I'm never making a shirt to now I'm thinking about how I'm making my pocket? You're <laughs> See? awful. See? How did you get that to happen? <laughs> See, I'm planting seeds. You're very good. <laughs> so... There should be some snips at the bottom if you need them. Uh, Towards... Uh, snips. It might be this way. Uh, Oh, not there. Never mind. that, there's a lovely little pair of scissors there if Let's you need. Them ones. No, the, uh, I thought the tiny little ones. If oh, you the want tiny those. ones. Those are my. F I love those. There we go. Those are the Janome ones. I like the Janome ones. They're oh, really oh, good. Oh, yeah, been using them a lot. But yeah, so I'll just snip off my loose threads there. I think what I might do next, uh, I might jump ahead a little bit and just show you uh, when it comes to doing the facing. Mm -hmm. Because I want to show you what... Because that's now why I understand the piece yeah. that you had previously, which had the bigger piece. That yeah. makes sense yeah. now. Uh, yeah, so this will fit that now. And what I want to concentrate on, I'll show you, is just how to do around the corners a little bit, just to give you a bit of a better finish. Perfect. Okay. So that's all nice Because I think that some people would struggle with that, so it's nice yeah. that you can show us that. Mm -hmm. If you want to leave that up here, you're most welcome. Okay. Uh, Whatever's easiest fine. for you. Yeah. So I'll just get my facing piece. Make sure I get the correct one. No, that's my back piece, don't want you. <laughs> that doesn't look right. No. That looks... That's another back piece. You've cut the whole jacket out, it's brilliant. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Where's my big first piece gone? So that's the back. And the great thing is, every viewer at home is watching this goes, yep, I've done that, yep, yep I've done that, that looks right. And that's a back piece as well, my first piece has disappeared. I can safely say I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> but you did, uh, is it not the well, bottom I, shelf? No. I can show you though from uh, the other piece, even though it won't be the right big piece, I can actually show you the technique. What's there I'm though? Sure. So this isn't, right, so this is the shorter. So this would be to do the other side. So it must be there, though. Is it not? On I this did side? have it before. Oh, it's, yeah. You. Is it not on the floor behind you over there? No. It's all right. We can manage. It's oh, fine. Sorry. So this, what I'm actually using here is this is actually the other side. But the great thing is the audience have a wonderful imagination. Yeah. That is the same size. Well, it's the These same the length. Same completely size. the same length. Yeah. So it doesn't matter because all the, the main the thing I want to show you is this bit. Okay. So this is going to be the facing. Now, when you get to this stage because I've skipped ahead a little bit, you're actually going to have um, your neck facing stitched on as well. Okay, 
and that will be along here. It'll stop probably around about there. Okay, but I'm going to concentrate on stitching around my neck and these reavers here. And I'm going to show you how to stitch these in a way so that you get a better finish when you turn it through. Okay, so I'm going to need uh, my heat erasable pen. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark some stitched lines and I want to mark the points that I'm going to mm -hmm. stitch to. And are you doing it one and a half centimetres again? One and a half centimetres, yeah. So I'll just start doing my, marking my seam. It's always a difficult bit this because it kind of comes to there but then you've got like a really mm. sharp part there so you kind of have to then step, step out again. So it's just finding that point that you're going to stitch to. So I like to do it where it'll kind of crisscross over. So, Perfect. so there's my point there, but so I'm just going to put a big star there so I know where it is. When I come to stitch that part, I'm actually not going to stitch that point. I'm actually going to stop a little bit further down mm -hmm. and actually stitch across. So I'll be cut, instead of going to the point and doing a pivot and having an angle, I'm actually going to come to a, just before I get to the point and stitch across. Okay. So what what happens when you do that? When you turn it through, you actually get a better point. That's if you, a good yeah, turn. so if you go, if you make the point there now, when you turn it through, it, it won't be. It won't, yeah. pull, it won't turn through. It doesn't matter how much you trim yeah, away; you'd still. Have it'd there. be horrible, bulky. It wouldn't look very nice. And the same for this part here. So it's the same as like. So if we do make a, if we do make a shirt. When we're making your shirt collar, at the uh, edge of your collar, that's what we do on the collar. Perfect. So it's just all these little hints and tips that can just make a sm little difference to your sewing. And it's just, I suppose it's the way I see it is it's the difference between an amateur and a professional. That's how I always think of it when you're um, exploring different little techniques like this. Freehand, just draw. I did wonder whether you could do that. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of want to stitch across and not go, mm. not, not make a point, no, no, don't pivot and make an angle. Okay. Just my iron out the way. So now I'll pin them pieces together. And you will be left with a bit here that you need to snip off. Mm -hmm. But you snip that off after, not yeah. before. Mm -hmm. yeah. I might just pin that way as well. Cause I need to, cause Ooh, I'm, okay. I'm on the point there, but I'm probably wanting to stitch it one or two stitches. And I'm guessing you would before. take those out before you stitch oh, those. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, sometimes it's a good idea to to pin certain sections both ways, especially if you're working with a difficult fabric as well, because um, it can shift and move. So don't always think, oh, well, I pinned it that way, I don't need to pin it the other way. It might be really helpful to do it in two different directions. Okay, for time. Yeah, we've yeah, got plenty of time. Yeah, okay. Someone will tell us when we're Good. not. So you've got about thir tw tw ten to thirty. Oh, All right, that's fine. That's perfect. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I don't need to stitch this whole uh, whole thing down. So it's mainly just bit that this part. Yes, I well, that to is. Cover. It does look yeah. really complicated. Yeah. So okay, so uh, I'll ignore my shoulders. So this is my shoulders. Yes, I'll ignore you that bit for now. Yeah. So you need to have a neck facing attached to. The front facing uh, mm -hmm. before you do this this part. So I'll, I'll just start at this point here. So I'll be going from the neck all the way around to the front of the neck there, and then when we get there, so I'm going to stop just slightly before my point and stitch across, not to the point, down the point. Okay. Uh, I'm just. Thinking, will you be able to see? I've got a dark thread. I'm just. Oh, you're fine. So when I take it off, 
We'll t see the other side. Yeah, well, because right. yeah, yeah, it's white on the other side, so hopefully you'll be able to see I it. I think I did a powder blue for you. Yes. Very pretty. What colour would you use as thread for this? Would you use a dark denim thread? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when this is just a standard, is this just a, I think this is just a Gutemann mm. blue, but yeah, you could use a denim thread. Um, Are you also a Gutemann girl? I do like a Gutemann, yeah. I love Gutemann. Yeah. Have you seen those new tins that we've got in? Gorgeous, yeah. <gasps> so good. So pretty, aren't they? Yeah. That's the thing, because afterwards you've got, it's like a gift, isn't it? It's like it really a gift is. to yourself, yeah. Now, because you're not going to see most of the stitching, though, would you go for a contrasting thread? Um, I'd, You could maybe, because um, maybe Cause around the them, sleeve edge. Because you have yeah. got some top stitching. Yeah, I've top stitched a sleeve. Again, you don't... I tell you, you why, could, I was looking at the yeah. red in that bu uh, bu uh, bundle that we've yeah. got today, and I was thinking, oh, that could be yeah. quite nice. There's some detail yeah. on that. Especially against the dark. It'd be beautiful. Denim, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm saying <laughs> you saw, nothing. You saw, you saw nothing. I'm, I'm looking away. I'm you know why I did that? Because I was. <laughs> I'm going to just see if there are any more. You know more why? Messages. Why I did that? Because when you mentioned top stitching, I thought you could maybe do some top stitching if you're confident <gasps> enough. Ooh, that would be beautiful. Yeah. 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 That would be stunning with a nice mm. red or a green yeah. or even a nice gr uh, cream. Mm -hmm. That would be lovely. I like that idea. So I'm just working my way around the neck and I'm about to come to one of the points. So I'm going to stop before I get to my point and then I'm going to pivot slightly but then stitch across. And I might just do this little bit by hand. So I've gone about two stitches. Actually, I might be able to do a bit more. All I could think is you haven't taken the pin out. You haven't taken the pin out. <laughs> so that's one corner done and down to the next one. Take that pin out. Let's just see how we're doing. Yeah. We'll do another one or two stitches and then... And those are where you're saying you're not hitting the point. You're actually just um, going past yeah. it. I was going to say, you've got a rogue pin there that won't sit down yeah, there anymore. Yeah, we Getting caught. Right, I'll we'll just do... But it's also just taking your time here. Yeah. And I think as well, your tip about not going directly into the points makes life a lot easier because mm -hmm. it's so much bulk in there at yeah. the first point. Again, just a bit slightly there at an angle. And then I'm on the home straight. So I'll stitch what go all the way to the bottom. So I'll take this off and then we'll turn it through and have a look. Because you said you were going to trim some things off as well. Yeah, because so you will need to, to trim. Please come into my favourite game and take the rose metal thing and just hoover up all the oh, pins. Right. I love doing this. <laughs> it's my favourite thing. <laughs> But it really yeah. is. They're so good. <laughs> right, so. And we they're only eight ninety nine on the website yeah. as well. So I've stitched across. I maybe could have gone slightly oh, that's further. Perfect. Yeah, I maybe could have gone slightly further up there. But you can see that was my point, and I've stitched across just below it. Okay. So now I need to trim. Be, I think slightly. underneath there, I've left you a pair of white um, scissors that doesn't have paper on it. It might be over here. Ah, I found my snips, hang on. Those are a little bit dull. You might want to yeah, try one of those. Let's switch one. Try that Janome ones there, those are quite Grey good. Grey ones. Are, yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah I've, I've, I like these ones, they're good. Oh. So, how should we clip this? The way we to, are safely in your yeah, hands. Yeah, so you can either go across, mm -hmm. or you can cut like a little diagonal. Oh, like which that. one would make it? Well, I suppose because you're trying to get the clearest point yeah. to make it the neatest yeah. point. I do like these scissors. So smooth to work with. Uh, and we'll cut. Just cut 
a little bit off the, into the point there. And it's not hitting the point, it's about no. three or four strands yeah. away from it, isn't it? Oh, you're taking it really yeah. down there. Let's just turn but the good thing is the more you take it down, the more clear the point will be. Exactly, it? yeah. Um, I do have a, if you, there's a little pointy ah, thing Ah, okay, a thing to turn Unfortunately, through. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed That's to okay. hand things That's to fine. you, which yep. is why I feel I will terrible pointing and showing you. I would also clip your neck as well. Yes. Just, just to bear that in mind. So let's just turn this through. Do I need to clip a bit more off? Maybe. So just show people now how far you've clipped into that so yeah. that they know. So it's about, I know, I mean, I probably could clip that a bit as well, just to make sure it's consistent. But just see how it lays mm. as, you, as you're doing it, see how it lays and whether you need to take a bit more off. And look, you've got a really, got a really nice point on that now. Twiddling it a little bit. So you see there. Oh God, it's not. It really it's not, does make yeah, such a it's difference. It's not bulky. It? And you haven't you even had that? to use a, a turning device yeah. of any kind. So it's kind. not bulky or anything. That looks beautiful. Yeah. So that's that's a really nice technique to know if you're having to turn through corners. Like that's that. brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what the rest of it looks like. And just getting rid of that extra little bit of bulk, I mm -hmm. think, is such a good tip. Just turn that back through and see what... Do I need to take a tiny bit more off? So then you would say that's basically you're only getting that from when you're looking at how it's turned round, if it hasn't turned out as clearly as possible. Yeah, so... Trim a tiny yeah, bit so more I'd off. say... Do it bit by bit, I'd bit say. Bit, yeah. Because it's easy to t take a whacking bit yeah. Off and then I'd ask you how you know, but <laughs> it's just trial and error. <laughs> it is. Yeah. But again, then. But so that looks yeah. fabulous. So and then you would just press that down. Yeah, just press them down. So it'll look even better once it's pressed. But you see there, what, how nice they look. They do look really nice, actually. Then don't they? Yeah, really good. I'm pleased with that. That's, that's worked very well. <laughs> Looks very well. <laughs> yeah. So well, so that's yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, now all these details are in the pattern already. It doesn't tell you about this. Okay. So that's just a little hint tip that Ooh, I'm. That's I'm why we love having demonstrators yeah, come yeah, on and there do you it. Go. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, you can maybe watch this back uh, and and uh, practice this yourself. But yeah, going forward, if you're making any sort of tailored jacket or that has any points like that, mm. like I said, with a with a collar for a shirt, the point. It's a very good tip. It just because if you do go point to point, you think you do you do think you're doing it right because mm. you think oh well I need a point there, but actually you need to stop and go across because when you turn it back through, it's true. Yeah, so it's right. very interesting because another demonstrator came on a couple uh, was it last week or the week before and she said exactly the same All thing. Right. She goes to the edge and just does um, when you put the needle down, you mm. do one stitch and yeah. then start off again because yeah. it just gives you that tiny little bit of space. Yeah, to and turn the, the finish through. on that is just lovely. It's beautiful, uh, and you'll be so when, if you do that and you see your work when you turn it through, it's just the most satisfying <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, that kind of elevates what you're exactly, doing, and the pattern exactly. is beautiful on its own. Mm -hmm. The fabric's beautiful, but to have that beautiful little finish, yeah. it just adds, as you say, that mm -hmm. professional finish yeah. to it. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's how you do the that is brilliant. bit on the. Uh, and if you were feeling confident, perhaps you could then do the embellishment with yeah, some top stitching some top and some stitching. contrasting yeah, so thread when on it's, there. Because this part is going to be edge to edge, so when you press it, just bear that in mind when you're pressing it. Uh, so there's my edge there. So pressing that now, is that just simply as you finger press it like that and then just get Yeah, your... I mean, ideally, what if we could open it up, I would say press it. Oh, right. Press we'll, it open and we'll do it We won't be able way. to do that up here uh, and then press it the other way. Because otherwise it can end up, you can end up with a lip yeah. over it. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is edge to edge, so you don't need to worry too much about it not it jarring, you know, if we had a, a contrast fabric. Uh, Perfect. Yeah, so... Uh, so yeah, so that's how you you do a nice finish on the uh, on the front there. So yeah, that does Love look really that. nice. Love yeah. that. Oh, Faye, you're an absolute star. Thank oh, you so okay. much for that. Okay. If you are looking to get this pattern, it's only fourteen ninety nine today. Brand new to us this morning. This is the Cocoon Jacket by So Difference. Um, did we check their website? Are we cheaper than they are?
They're, they're charging £17 on their website, £14.99 on ours. So do make sure you get that there. You can see how beautiful that is there. Really, really lovely. Um, and you've got all the sizes going from, is it 8 to 26 as well? 8 to 26 as well. Really good that you've got something that can go all the way through those sizes. It's fantastic. And you've got the measurements there on your screen at the moment as well. Check the website if you need any more details on the pattern. And we've got these wonderful bundles that go with it as well. We've got the dark blue first, which is so beautiful. You've got this beautiful, this is what you've been demonstrating yeah. in, this gorgeous dark blue fabric here with this wonderful, um, what are we calling this, rose? I'm not sure what we've called this. White roses on denim, and these are both denim. This one being a medium weight denim, whilst this one's being a lightweight denim there. Really, really lovely. This is two meters of that one, meter and a half of that one, three and a half meters in total. Really lovely to work with. Yeah, and you it? will have a lot left so over beautiful. That, that patterned fabric. It's worth to get that, make the jacket, and then you'll have loads left over Brilliant. to make something else with the pattern. Could make uh, a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> So that's our dark colorway there. We've also got our medium. What is this medium? Sorry, I can't remember what the names of everything is are today. Again, we've got the medium blue colorway here. That's what our um, model is wearing over here. I think that's it's so pretty, isn't oh, it? That looks really good. good. Sure and I love those pop of details in the in the pockets there. Really lovely. So this medium blue cotton cocoon. The, medium blue denim cocoon jacket fabric three and a half meters that's 33 pounds 99 today you're getting two meters of the medium denim medium weight there medium color medium weight and you're getting a meter and a half of the lightweight denim here beautiful little flower um, motif that's what I was looking for on there really really lovely now, Faye, when are you next back? I think it's the end of the month. I end think I'm month? on a Saturday. Wonderful. It'll be my first Saturday. Your first Saturday? Yeah. The last Saturday of the month? I think so, yeah. I will see you on the last Saturday yeah. of the month. Are you going to be here? Oh, excellent. I Fantastic. Yeah. Can't wait for you to be back. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're making. Yeah, so am I. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but yeah. That's all right, but I'll bring some shirt fabric in. Yeah. Just in case. I just <laughs> want to then thank you all for your out, uh, being with us now. Don't go away. We've got a fabulous hour of fabric next. Uh, we'll be right back. Thank you so much thank for you. your time today. Thanks very much. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket.
Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Faye and I'm going to be joining the Sewing Street team as one of their guest designers. Uh, I work as a professional dressmaker. You can see here you've caught me in the middle of making a petticoat for a wedding dress here in my workroom in North Yorkshire. Uh, I started off in fashion design, studied that at college and then I actually made the move into costume. So I've actually spent several years making costumes, uh, quite high-end costumes for both television and theatre. So hopefully with that professional experience I'm best placed to give you some advice on how to get the best results with your sewing and to show you some really interesting techniques. Uh, so it would be great if you could join us for that if you're an avid dressmaker and I look forward to seeing you. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hello, my name is Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Welcome back. We've got the most fantastic hour ahead of us now. Oh, all these fabrics, they are so beautiful. Really looking forward to showing you all of that. Well, in case some of you haven't joined us earlier, I'd like to recap our little early bird special that we've got today. One of our wonderful Gutemann tins. I adore these little tins. They are so, so lovely to be able to keep as a little keepsake. And you've got all these wonderful threads in there. Eight of these threads, all of which are 100 uh, meters each, all 100% polyester really really great all the colors are so good the way that they're going you these are all the pieces the coloring that you would use you've got your black you've got your navy you've got this gorgeous chocolate brown this lovely olive then you've got your really bright vivid red on there and then we've got our uh, cream or tan I'm not quite sure what we'd be calling that one gorgeous grey and then also this lovely white. It's just such a great, great colourway there. I personally prefer working with polyester and the reason being is that the thread itself is so strong. It just, it's really, really strong and I prefer having the polyester because I know that my seams are safer with the polyester thread. Really beautiful and the feel of them is so great. And you've got that wonderful little sheen on it as well which I think just looks so luxurious and it just looks so good on all the work that you're doing. These are a great Great, great, um, great to use for piecing, and I use them in my top thread and in my bottom thread. Just that way, then you've always got that perfect tension. You've got that synergy of the two threads together. Um, and if your tension in your machine has a little bit of a wobble, doesn't matter. You've got threads, same to threads, top and bottom, and it's all sorted. And such a great early bird price, fourteen ninety nine today, and it's so lovely. And once you've finished with it, again, I mentioned that you've got this wonderful tin. It's a perfect size to take things away round with you. A few little English paper piecing pieces in there, your spool of thread and your needles. It's just such a great, great little tin. Lovely little product there, and it's just so, so pretty. So it's available for fourteen ninety nine today, and I hope you're lucky enough to get one of these today. 
They're available all day or while stocks last. Now, one of my, look at these, all these fabrics. I'm so, so excited about these. This one I showed you very briefly earlier. We've got this wonderful pastel combination. You're getting a half meter of each of these colors, the yellow, the pink, the blue, and the green. A half meter of each. I'll show you how much a half meter is on the yellow and you'll be able to see that's the size you're getting for all of these different fabrics. It's a lot of fabric and all of which is 100% cotton, really beautiful feel to it as well and such lovely colors. And these are so, so pretty. I just love the way these colors all merge together so beautifully. And it's £13.49 for all four of those. Such a nice pastel color. No. Wow, so I'm just hearing now, I very sneakily, I grabbed them off the basket to just show them to you earlier. All 30% of the stock of this is gone already. I'm not surprised. Look how beautiful they are. They just look like sweets, don't they? You just want to eat them. They're so pretty for baby makes or anything like that. And they're such a lovely color. Wall hangings, they're just so vibrant. I love those. £13.49 there for two meters of that, half meter each. Now... We're gonna do the lemon yellows next. I'm hoping this is the right one. This just looks like a sunrise, doesn't it? Look at those. These are the yellow core bundle available today. Again, half meter of each of these and very, very summery. And that's for $12.99. Let me show you exactly how much you're getting. So this is the same amount of fabric you'll get with each piece of those today. That's half a meter there. Doesn't that just vibrantly pop out at your screens? It's brilliant. Love that. So that's how much fabric you get in each one of these pieces. And such a great price, $12.99. It's really, really lovely that, and these gorgeous colors. So that's that beautiful bright yellow. We're getting a lovely goldy color there, which is a little bit darker than that bright yellow. And then this one's just a bit lighter than that one as well. And then we've got our lightest lemony color here, which I think is the same color in our pastel way. Really beautiful there. So all four of those together, $12.99. But just look at what a beautiful bundle that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous colorway there. So next we have, we'll do the blue colorway here. Oh, I love my blues. So these again, there are four different colors here. This is the blue core collection. There, you're getting a half meter of each one of these, four different colorways. And that's also $12.99. Such a great price there. So you've got four different colors. I think this one is, is this, oh, is this, this is powder blue, peacock, marine, and cadet. Was this one marine? Marine and then cadet. It's such a lovely colorway there. Let me just show you how much each one of these, um, this is the size of each one of those. So that's what a half meter looks like. They're 42 inches, 44, 44 inches with the selvage, 42 inches wide, and it'll be about 19 inches um, long. I never quite know which way's long and which one's wide. But such a lovely color combination here. Love these. But you see, you've got that beautiful light blue, and you've got this gorgeous peacock there. I love this colorway. But I think marine might be my favorite. I love that color, it's just such a beautiful color. And then you've got this gorgeous cadet as well, it's just so pretty. And that's $12.99 for this bundle there, two meters of it. Love that. And great, great value. Gorgeous color. Now remember, all of these are 100% cotton. The feel is lovely. Everything is, the colors are so pretty and the price is so good. Such a great, great product, these. I'm really, really pleased with those. Oh, we've had a message in, for, a message in from Alan with a picture. Oh, wow. So that was one of their makes. Wow, look at that with the red. That is so pretty. 
It really does make your egg, because you see what's so great, where you've got some beautiful poppy fabric like that. Sometimes you want that gorgeous accent to be able to make it pop even more. That is brilliant. Well done with that. That looks amazing. So next we're going to do the neutral. That's the black to white, isn't it? Perfect. This one is three meters of fabric because you've got six different colorways. You've got your black, your school gray. I think that's silver or silver. Then uh, cream, ivory and white, I think. Bear with. We're just double checking because I can never get all these colors right in my head. Black, school gray. Oh, dark gray, sorry, school gray and dark gray are very similar. That's your dark gray. Then you've got your, is it silver? Silver, and then you've got your cream. Vanilla, sorry, vanilla, ivory, and then white. So it's black, dark gray, silver, vanilla, ivory, and white. Now that's three meters of fabric there for $19.99. Let me just show you what you're getting for each one of those pieces is half a meter. That's how much they're getting there. Lots of fabric there and again, such a great, great price with really great quality. All of these are 100% cotton. And these are without question your essentials. They're just the most usable colors, the most beautiful, beautiful color combinations. But it's also really good if you're just wanting to bulk out your stash. It's really lovely. Now, if you did order two of these bundles, these would already cut and cut to you for, um, in half meter pieces. These are already pre-cut. So you, um, if you normally bought these by the half meter, if you bought two units, they would come to you as a meter piece. Because these bundles are already cut, if you ordered two of these, they would come to you in half meter pieces already. All of the bundles on the Today's Show show but you can tell it's such a gorgeous color combination there really great and because most of us are struggling to get some fabrics at the moment it's a nice way to be able to build up your solids it's really great we've also got our red this one is new today oh, this is very pretty just spacing these out to show you So this is our red planes, spots and stars combination here. Got a half a meter of our wonderful stars, half a meter of our spots, and half a meter of our red plane. And that's for £10.99. Really great value that. And let me just remind everybody what a half meter is of each of these. That's how much you're getting of each piece. They're really good, these. Brand new as a bundle today. So this one is the 100% cotton uh, of the red, and then the stars and the spots, I'll just show you these. These are the poplin weight on these, also 100% cotton, but they are a poplin weave. But look at that one. You see what's so great about this for binding, if you're doing some accents on bag making as well, that one just works really, really well. Look at the detailing on that, it's fabulous. And then last but not least, we've got our Ditsy Stars as well. This is such a great color as well. Look at those. Really lovely there. So you're getting a half meter of each of those three colorways. That's a meter and a half. How many? Goodness me, so I'm hearing we've only got 40 of these left now. They're doing really, really well this morning. So we've only got 40 of these left. So do, um, do make sure you check out. Now I know a lot of people have got things in their basket. What happens is a lot of you all then check out at the same time um, and then you end up losing it or you perhaps it sells out while you haven't checked out. We have got one day PNP, three ninety five. So it doesn't matter how many times you check out throughout the day, you're not going to pay any more or any less. You'll pay three ninety five throughout the day. So do check out as you get them. We'd hate for you to miss out on something as you go along. 
Oh, I'm hearing the pastel fabric bundle is the most popular of the day. It's doing really, really well on that. So please, if you are after that, make sure you check out of your basket now. Only £13.49 for these. I'll remind you if you're just joining us, look how fun they are. Got the yellow, the pink, the blue and the green. Half metre of each for £13.49. It's just such a lovely bundle. And what I love is that they all go so effortlessly together as well. I think it's the tones of the fabric that you've got the same tone all the way through. Really well thought out there. Lovely bundle. And that one's proving to be the, well, definitely our sale of the day. So next we're going to do our grey core bundle. Um, now I'm going to try and get this right. Let's see if I can do this. This is dark grey, misty blue. Oh. Oh my goodness. So it's dark grey, silver, elephant. School grey. Ah, oh, I'm getting there. Dark grey, silver, elephant and uh, school grey. Those are your four greys that you're getting in this bundle here. Half metre of each one. So let me show you what each one looks like as a half metre size wise. And that's going to be £13.49 as well. I am absolutely addicted to grey at the moment. I cannot make enough with grey. It's just getting harder to find. So there we go. £13.49 for these. So this is, oh, it's already proving to be very popular already. And remember, you can check out as many times as you need to throughout the day. It's such a lovely day. It's only got the $3.95 all day for the checking out there. You don't pay any more or any less. That one is th um, the school grey. And then we've got our elephant. We've got our silver. And we've got our dark grey as well. Lovely little colour combination there. I love who picks out these uh, colours. They're brilliant. So I think this is our next one, our purple bundle. Um, I'm not even going to try and figure the colours out on these, but they are so pretty. Look at that one. Magenta. Purple. Cream. And your blush. Blush, cream, purple, and magenta. Half metre of each of these. These go really well with my shirt, don't they? So these are a half metre of each one of these. Let me show you how much you're getting as a half metre. Absolutely love that. Half metre there. And that's going to be four of those pieces. Just different colours, obviously, but that's how much each one of the fabrics is. And that's going to be $12.99 for that bundle. And that's our purple core bundle. So that was our blush. Then we've also got our cream. Look at that cream. I love the cream. This purple is just beautiful. Look at that. Such a gorgeous purple there. And then not to be undersold, our wonderful magenta as well. But just look how beautifully those go together. Now remember, if you are buying multiple units of this, these will come to you pre-cut as half meter pieces. Uh, unlike when if you bought it by the half meter, you could get longer pieces. These will all be pre-cut before you get them. So I've got two greens. I think this is it. So this is going to be mint. Is it emerald or fur? Mint, emerald, chartreuse. And is that J... Um, Jade. Jade, chartreuse, emerald and mint. Now each of these are a half metre. Let me remind you what a half metre looks like for each of them. Look at that. It's such a beautiful colour, isn't it? Really, really loving this. So that's what the half metres look like for all of them. Now you see, I'm wondering whether this wouldn't work very well for your pockets if you're making one of those gorgeous cocoon jackets. So that was your jade. You've also got your gorgeous chartreuse there. You've got your emerald. And then last but certainly not least, you've got your mint. And isn't that just the most beautiful, beautiful colorway there? So you're getting four half meter pieces there in your greens corb fabric bundle there for $12.99.
So we're going to do our berries co uh, combination now. I love these. So this one, I'm um, lilac or lavender? Oh, amethyst. That's amethyst. Pomegranate. Fuchsia. We're going to redo these names. So this one's called raspberry, fuchsia, pomegranate, and your amethyst. That's the colorway that we've got there. That's the Berry's Core Fabric Collection. You've got four different colorways there, half a meter of each one. Let me remind you all what a half meter looks like for this bundle. You're getting four pieces that are this size, and that whole bundle, all four of them, are $12.99. And then this is our wonderful berry combination there. All four of those, $12.99. Love that. We're gonna do our neutrals now. Now this is such a lovely color combination, these. Sorry, say that again. Now these are one of those kits that when you are getting four fabrics by the half meter, they don't hang around for very long. So do make sure you, you get these as soon as you can. This is the vanilla. We're just double checking the colors. This is the white. Ivory, cream, white, and nude, those are the colors there. So it's nude, white, cream, and ivory. But you can see they're so, 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 these are mainly for your accent fabric, for your car, um, contrast, backings it's really good, and also for um, bindings. But also if you're wanting to do contrasting fabrics for any form of bags as well, this would work really, really well. But all of these, what's so good with these is because they're all made by the same company, you've got the same weight, the same weave. So all of these color combinations, you can see this wonderful neutrals core bundle here, four of the colors. Look how beautifully it goes with the green. But also, equally, how well it goes with our berry. You can tell they just work so beautifully together. It's just such a, it's a, such a staple that you should have in your collection because it's just such a, it's one you would use and always reach to. So we're absolutely got the most gorgeous fabrics here, but for a little bit of something different, the most amazing Debbie Shaw, we've got th uh, six of her books today. Oh my goodness, they're two bundles. Shall we start with the vintage? Start with vintage first. So you're getting three books here as your bundle. So you've got your um, vintage, you've got bags and pur purses, and you've got home. All three of these books for $21.98. You're saving 10, almost 10 pounds, 9.99. You're buying two and you're effectively buying three for two. Really, really great price. Let's have a little flick through these books because Debbie's books are so amazing. Look at these. So this is the vintage book. Oh, look at these. They're so wonderful. Oh, look at that. Now, Debbie's books, all of her books are um, photographed by her husband. Her husband's a fantastic photographer. And you can see these beautiful detailing on all of the photos that she takes in here, that he takes for these books. They're brilliant. And I love Debbie's books because she gives you these basic instructions of what you need to know before you start any of the projects, anything you need to know beforehand, adding a vintage touch, mitered corners, um, just goes through the, ba the basic details you need to know before you start the projects. And then each one of these projects are so unique and so interesting. You've got jar wraps over here, which is so brilliant. We've also got a tray mat, which is great, nice and quilted there. Bunting, oh, we love some bunting. Look at those. Oh, I love that bucket bag. That's very cute. 
and a nice little tissue box cover. And having the author working for us, that's just wonderful. Oh, I love, oh, that is very sweet. Oh, that's very sweet, a little letter holder. Won't your bills look a little more appealing being in a nice little wonderful welcoming piece like that? Oh, a floral wreath, that's lovely. Oh, and look how clever, how it shows you how to actually make these and how simple it is to do with a nice little button to finish it off. Just because Debbie's got so much experience on how to do these, she's got so many different techniques and things to do. It's wonderful that she's been able to share all of this knowledge with us. But you So is that on each of them? So in these two books, the purses and bags and the vintage, you've got 47 different projects. So you've got 23 there and you've got 24 there. You've got 47 just in these two. And effectively in this bundle, you're getting that one for free. So for £21.98, you're getting 47 different projects. It's absolutely brilliant. I think Debbie was saying how she'd been able to get some antique doilies to make this. It's working out at 47p a project. And you're then getting the other book for free as well. I absolutely adore the detailing on this. And the little cottages, she had those on the other day. Really pretty. Oh, and a tea cosy. Isn't that adorable? So that is our De that's Debbie's Half Yard Vintage book there. Really, really lovely. Then we've got the bags and purses. And I love the fact that you're making a bag and then you've got a beautiful purse to go with it, that they just work with that synergy. Oh, nice little leaflet there. There's some beautiful, beautiful bags in there. And the good thing with these books is it doesn't matter who you are, you'll always find something that you could make, whether it be for your sewing kit or whether you're just looking for a beautiful bag to use to go out. It's really lovely. And again, Debbie's given you a whole load of different instructions of things to know before you start out in the book. Tells you how to add the uh, twist fastenings, things like this. Some people don't know how to do that. And I think that's really great that you've gone into all the detail here to show you how it's done. Really lovely. And then we go on to different projects and how it is. And look at that as a nice little travel bag with your document holder. Really clever. And a tassel bag. And a tass tassel purse as well. Oh, that's very pretty. It's a nice little beach bag there. And that's a little beach bag to put your money in. Oh, that's pretty as well. Oh, look at that. You've got these wonderful little messenger bags as well. And I love the fact that you've got a nice little handle here as well. I'm always losing my keys. So even just making the handle to be able to put on my keys would be really good. And that's the thing, it's not just about being able to make the bags, it's you can do loads of other projects as well. It just gives you lots of ideas. Because not only have you got the fabulous instructions, the, um, the pictures, you've also got these brilliant instructions which makes life so much easier to understand exactly what you're doing as well. Love these. I do love that bag, I think that bag is absolutely stunning. Nice little computer bag that. Oh, and you can put it onto your trolley as well. Very clever. And then you've got your document wallet for all of your cards and your passports, etc. Loving these. So you can see there are so many different ideas here on different projects to make. I'm loving this one. This is just two of the books. You're looking at these crafty girls' purse. Sorry, but I'm making it for me. Look at that. That is very good, I like that. And that's just, we haven't even got to the end here, which is the marvelous tote bag as well. This is wonderful. I love these type of flowers here. But Debbie is an absolute gem when it comes to bags, absolutely knows everything about them. That's just the second book in this bundle. We haven't even got to the end of the book. Next we've got the Half Yard Home, that's in our bundle here. 
and you can see all these wonderful pictures there. Doesn't that just look amazing? Oh, there she is. And you can see all the different products in here and the different, oh, all the different useful things you need and um, the hand stitching. I do love this because I don't do very much hand stitching and it's nice to be able to have a breakdown of a slip stitch, a ladder stitch, to be able to see exactly what we're doing there. And again, you've got all these wonderful instructions in this section here and top tips before you actually start making your projects. You can see you've got a yo-yo cloth there, a nice little cube basket, a magazine box, a vase sleeve, or oh, a reversible knitting bag. Oh, that's lovely. Now we're into coasters. I actually thought that that, I didn't realize that was fabric. I thought that that was actually a whole collection of cutlery for a moment then. That's very clever. Glass bottoms to be able to keep the base of your glass um, dry. That's very clever. And that's what I love is Debbie's got so much experience on these. She's done these so beautifully and so thoughtfully. But not all of us want to talk about Christmas too soon. I'm so excited it's coming. But before you even know it, it'll be upon us. But imagine being able to make all these wonderful little table runners and coasters and mats, even picture frames using Christmas fabrics to be able to do it. A fabric bowl. We're all trying to be a little bit greener, not using as much plastic. Imagine being able to make all your Christmas um, advent calendar bits out of something like this. That'll be brilliant. You could make a Christmas apron. Love these. Oh, she's used some tulip pink over here. It's very, very thoughtful, really lovely product, these. Lavender hearts. Oh, and I love the fact that we've got the little picnic times as well. So the weather's so great at the moment, not today, but it's nice that you can be able to make something like this to be able to go out on your picnics. It's gonna be a nice 29 degrees tomorrow and a nice little bottle bag. So you can see those are the three wonderful books that you're getting in this collection today. £21.98, you're only effectively paying for two of the books and getting one for free. Lovely there, so that's the Debbie Shaw Half Yard Home collection there. Next, we've got another wonderful collection for you here today. We've got the Half Yard Christmas, Half Yard Christmas, Half Yard Gifts and Half Yard Kids. Again, almost three for two there. Uh, £21.98 for all three of these, saving $9.99. And we can go through each of these as well. I'm gonna save Christmas for last. I think we're a little bit Christmased out today. <gasps> no, I'm gonna do that one next. Look at him! That is so fun. Love that. Oh, I love all these little fun kin toys here. These kids' products are so lovely. I've gone all quiet now because I'm all excited. <gasps> You've got a craft easel. Oh, how clever. You make a little craft easel there. I love that. I'm thinking I might make that out of sewing fabric for my studio. Put all my pens and scissors in there. That's a really lovely idea. We can call it a sew easel. Oh, I love this. Fishing for, fish for fish, ditch the crab. Oh, that's wonderful. That is very cute. That is brilliant. I'm wondering if you can scale up these fish and make it into pillows. That's really lovely. But that's what's so great. Debbie's got so much experience on this and she's, oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, she's so clever. And the good thing with these, I'm just thinking that you can get the kids to involved. They can decorate it how they like. Oh, I love it. Using up all your scrap fabrics to be able to do it. What a lovely little backpack, this. Really pretty. Oh, monkey skittles, they are good. These are really sweet. Oh, who doesn't love a hot water bottle cover? Love that. Oh, a patchwork ball. Oh, that's clever. That's a lovely little thing, that. Oh, witch's hat. 
These are brilliant. And then you've got the cube tidy. Oh, our little crabs come back to say hello. Oh, that's clever. Little chair pockets. That's very clever. Oh, I'm liking these. Portal curtains. That's very sweet. Oh, this one I love. The pyjama eater. That is very sweet. That is very sweet. Got the shoe bags. So this is just the most brilliant little kids book there. So we've got the kids book there. Then we've got our gifts book as well. Oh, these are pretty. And again, you're going to be able to see all the things you need to know before you start. Explains a bit about applique, how to use a continuous zip, creating a square bag base, which is really, really fun to do and really important to know. Also showing you the ladder stitch, the slip stitch, the tacking stitch. Oh, that is really clever, the cactus pin cushion. That really is clever, I like that. Oh, and the slashed fabric pillow cover. I love these. Slashed fabric purse. These really are lovely. Debbie did that wonderful um, slash chenille cushion cover a couple of weeks ago as well. That's going to be my Christmas presents for... Oh, shouldn't have told every. Sorry. They're all getting that as bags for Christmas. I can't wait. This is a scissor keeper, which I think is so important. You've got to be able to make sure the, uh, the point of your scissors don't pierce through your bag. These are really lovely too. String of chicks. Oh, I love this fabric, James Holt fabric here. And again, cosmetics bags. I just get lost in all of these. You've got the draft excluder there with the little beach houses on as well. Really clever. And if you've got a spare beach house, just make it into a frame. Nice little tool apron there. Oh, a kneeling pad for the garden. I have to say so many people are using the gardens at the moment and doing lots of kneeling. That'll help you out a bit there. Oh, a nice little bag doorstop. That's very clever. That is wonderful. Heart pillow there with some tooler again. Lovely tap, lovely tablet cover there. Wonderful tea, uh, cupcake tea cozy. You've just got loads and loads and loads of projects there. So those are just two of the three books in this bundle that we're getting today. One of the books is free. I'm going to say the Christmas one is free for you today. It might not be. You can choose which one. But these are, this is just right up my street. I love these. I love the, all of these little Christmas makes. They are so much fun. And again, Debbie explains exactly what you need to know before you start going into the book and doing everything. Shows you a bit of free motion embroidery, how best to do that. And then you actually start on the projects, which I think is so clever. Doing this wonderful advent calendar here, making your own. That is really lovely. Some bunting, Christmas bunting's always good fun. Candle pots, a present sack, nothing wrong with a good present sack. Some string baubles. Oh, they are good. They're lovely. And you can do them as a, the polyester molds in cones as well as a Christmas tree. That's very clever. Oh, I love these little Christmas cones with, with loads of sweets on them as well. That is brilliant. But would you know who was taking all your sweeties off your tree? Look at those Christmas gnomes, they are so adorable. And the great thing with these is you don't need huge amounts of fabric, so you can use up all those piece of Christmas fabric you've got left over from last year and the year before. These are really sweet. I think we had Carry On showing us something similar to these. Imagine the red bundle, oh, I don't know if we've shown this red bundle yet. Oh no, the one with the stars and the spots. Oh, that would work very, very well on that. If you wanted to merge in some of the white bundle as well. And then you've got the wonderful hanging heart. 
Oh, look at that Christmas stocking. Now we're onto the traditional Christmas. We've got the Christmas ball decorations here. Oh, those are sweet. So you can see you've got all the different, um, I'm not quite sure what we're calling those. Lots of ovals in a circle. There we go. Oh, these stocking decorations are so sweet. And the good thing with all of these is you can make these all well in advance before Christmas. And because you've then made them, you've got them for the following year as well. That's very clever with the little mistletoe, mistletoe wreath pillow cushion. Because Christmas is all about family and being able to just be together as well, I think it's lovely to be able to have that handmade touch to it and feel to it. I love a good Christmas tree skirt. That's lovely. And I love these little felt additions on there. That is lovely. Oh, but if you're a bit more modern and you want to have your monochromatic Christmas, there's a nice little gift box for you there, as well as your fabric baubles. And of course, obviously, if you wanted to do these in your traditional colours, you can. They're just showing you how to do this with blacks and whites and everything, which is very lovely. A potted tree Christmas decoration as well. Nice little table mat. Oh, and then we've got kids' Christmases. These books are so full of loads of information, loads of different projects. Look at these little Robin Buntings. These are so sweet. Imagine being able to get one of those LED string tea lights that we had on earlier uh, last week. We'd be able to pop one in the, maybe in its tummy all the way through or on the top of it as you put it on its little bunting. It's such a clever idea. And the great thing is you can then expand on it and make it your own in it, whatever way you feel like it. These are lovely. Just such a clever, clever set of books here. Such a great price. And of course, it's Debbie Shaw. You can't get better than that. Three fabulous books. You've got your Christmas, you've got your gifts, and you've got your kids. All of those there for £21.98. Such a great, great deal there. Make sure you get yours now. Because I'm... What, what? Yes. So now, because we were talking all about Christmas... And I'm feeling all Christmassy after all our wonderful Christmas bags there. We're going to do our red core bundle to give you a Christmas there. So I'm um, the colours here. Is that pomegranate? Claret? Hot tomato? Red? Crimson? Crimson, red, hot tomato and your claret. Look at those beautiful, beautiful colours there. I'll show you just to remind you how much you're getting in each fabric. Each of them is half a metre. There are four of them. And that's how much you're getting of each fabric. Because the... Now remember that wreath that we had in the book? Imagine using one of these and mixing it with your neutral bundle and with the star bundle and being able to make something so beautiful with that. And you can see these colours are just so vibrant and so, so lovely. All of them are 100% cotton. That's our red fabric there. Then we've got our lovely hot tomato. And then last but not least, we've got our claret. That is such a deep, rich purple there. I love that. Should we do our orange one? We'll do our oranges next. We've got so many beautiful colours here today, don't we? So here we've got, I can't remember the colours on all of these. So I think this is the peach, vanilla. Can't remember, is that tangerine or orange? and then yellow. Do check the website, they'll be able to tell you exactly what colours. Of course, there's a tiny little technical issue, we can't pull those up at the moment. Let me, let me just remind you how much you're getting of each colourway, and I've just heard that we have got them now. This is definitely the peach fabric. That's what the half metre looks like. You're getting four different pieces that size. So that's peach. We've got peach there. And I was wrong, that's peach there, so that's the gorgeous peach colour there. And then we've got our lemon, nice lovely lemon there. 
This is our orange, lovely colorway there. And last but not least is our sunshine. Isn't that the most beautiful, beautiful yellow there? $12.99 for that bundle there. It's just got so many bundles here, it's wonderful. Last, on this little row, on this side, we've got another bundle here for you. What bundle is this one called? This is the teal and blue color combination here. So this is your teal, peacock, jade, misty blue. So misty blue, jade, peacock, and teal. Beautiful, beautiful colorway there. This is how much fabric you're getting in each one of these pieces. You've got four of them today in this bundle for $12.99. Oh, $12 Love these. And the thing is, it's so hard to think of different things to do with these projects because there's so many beautiful, beautiful projects out there. So many different bags. If you're just flicking through Debbie's books there, my mind is awash with all these different wonderful ideas. Can you imagine making those pajama um, eaters, the pajama critters out of these wonderful colors there? It would be beautiful. So that was your misty blue. This one is your jade. And then we've got our wonderful peacock. And then last but not least, we've got our teal. Love that, and always a rogue thread on the bottom of them. That's $12.99 today for that wonderful bundle. Oh, I'm very excited about this. We have a rainbow bundle. I'm gonna move these down so I can show you each and every one. They are just beautiful. Pretty sure these aren't in the rainbow colors. Look at those. So that's three and a half meters of fabric there. Great for any of the kids makes, maybe you want to do some, um, just making some rainbow projects as well. It's fabulous for these. So the bottom color there, you've got your marine, orange, red, sunshine, emerald, Purple, raspberry. Love these. Let me remind you of how much you're getting of each one of these. So you're getting a half meter of each of these. Just such a great amount of fabric there and such great quality. 100% cotton each one. So that's the raspberry. Lovely colorway that. And then we've got our purple. But you just think of those kids games that were in that book of Debbie's. That's the emerald. You've got loads of different projects in that kids game book where you're looking at the, um, the little craft easel as well. Can you imagine that being this gorgeous yellow, uh, gorgeous sunshine and then having some red to trim with it. That would work beautifully. So vibrant. And then you've got that wonderful orange. And then last but not least, you've got that beautiful, beautiful marine. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous colorway that. That's our uh, solid rainbow fabric bundle, three and a half meters there, seven different colors, half meter of each one for $23.99. Loving these. Next, we've got our wonderful silver star combination here. You're getting a half a meter of the silver, half a meter of the Blue, I think it is, or is it aqua? So it's pink, uh, the silver, pale blue, and your pink. Half meter of each one of these. Getting a meter and a half of fabric there. These are really lovely. And for a meter and a half, you're only paying ten ninety nine there. Let me just remind you all what a meter and a half, uh, what half a meter looks like. So you're going to get three of these. It's such a lot of fabric there. Really, really lovely. I love that pink, but I do think the silver in this one might be my favorite. You can imagine these as a little kid's bag or something like that, or a nice little project. Look at the silver one. Isn't that just vibrant? See, I'd launch a whole load of these as a quilt backing because that is just beautiful. Love that.
So you're getting a half meter of the silver, half meter of the pale blue, and half a meter of the pink. And that's $10.99 in that bundle today. And then last of our little bundles, I think, that we've got here, oh no, I've got loads over there, is our pink and our purple bundle here. This is brand new today as well, so you're getting, getting a nice little a sneak peek of something special here. You've got your white on lilac, white dots on lilac, pink poplin stars, and then that's your pink again as well. Love these. So I'll just remind you what half a meter looks like on each of these. So this is on the plane. And then you've got the poplin. Can you imagine you've got a nice little baby girl coming into the family? Imagine all the wonderful little makes you can make with it. This is the Poplin Stars, and that's how much you're getting of the Poplin Stars in this bundle. But you can imagine these for bunting, little projects for that, and just different ways of being able to do it. If you did the bunting out of the pinks, um, you could do alternate stars and plain pink. You could then write the, the baby's name in the purple, doing a nice little plique on with that, some bond web. Nice easy bunting to make there. And then you've got the wonderful purple, the lilac, dot, uh, white dots on lilac there. Meter and a half bundle there for $10.99. Love that. So now we've got a couple of fat quarter bundles and I'm just excited because we've got the tilde back. So we'll start with the tilde. Um, shall we do the Bon Voyage? So we've got the Bon Voyage. This is five fat quarters here. I'm going to show you what each one of these look like. Because the fabrics, the Tilda designs are so special. Absolutely gorgeous designs on these. Oh, let me open this up. Look at that. And what's so great is the D... Oh, I've got it upside down. Forgive me. There we go. You can see the little bunny there and all the detailing in these flowers. Just that eye for detail is so, so special. So that's just one of the colours that we've got there. And then we can do that one next to it. You can see how they all flow together so beautifully. And Tilda, the designs are so special and they're so good at being able to make sure that the colours flow together so effortlessly. Being able to make something really, really beautiful and very, very special. And there's the red colourway there. And I struggle to find which one I like the best because they're all so beautiful. Love those. I do think that might be my favourite of these five. But it's such a beautiful, beautiful colour combination then. You're getting five fat quarters. Let me show you how much a fat quarter is in size. I'll make sure I keep the bunnies the right way around. So that's what a fat quarter looks like out of the tilled range. You're getting five of these and that's going to be £22.99 for this beautiful tilde fabric. But I think the detailing, especially on this fabric, is so special. Look at those. You can just see the detail there, it's absolutely stunning. Love that. I'm not going to attempt to fold all these up. Oh, I am. <laughs> I always think it's very boring for people to watch me fold. So twenty two ninety nine. So that's more than a meter. It's almost a meter and a quarter of fabric that, and it's just such great quality. You can see how beautiful these fabrics are. Not sure how that was folded, but there we go. There we go. Half, half, and then hold. There we go. So that is our Tilda Bon Voyage collection and that will arrive to you in a lovely little bundle that'll look like that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So that's the Bon Voyage collection. 
However, we have still got this incredible... How many? Right, we only have 14 left of this. Now the Tilda Apple Butter, I absolutely adore these fabrics. I think they are so beautiful. You're gonna get 10 fat quarters. Um, there is another green that should be in here, but that's gone walkies. But you can see the beautiful, beautiful colorways here, the symmetry of the colors there, look at that. They work so, so well together. So I'm gonna try and put three on three. You can just see how effortlessly these go together. And it's such a clever, clever design in the fact that you can see that that dark red there is this dark red dot, and that dark yellow there is that dark yellow. And it just works so beautifully. They've been so clever with the way they've designed these. And they just are so beautiful. Really, really lovely. We do have another green plane coordinate that goes with it. Um, it's somewhere. Not sure where. Sorry about that. But that is $31.99. You're getting 10 fat quarters. That's two and a half meters of fabric. Let me show you how much each of these fat quarters look. Working out at £3.20 a fat quarter there. But look at that. It just works so, so beautifully there. And you can see, if you're thinking of Christmas fabrics as well, that actually does look very Christmassy. And it doesn't, it, but it isn't very Christmassy, if that makes sense. It does, it could be Christmassy, but it isn't in your face Christmassy. It's just that really beautiful, subtle Christmas flavor. So you've got 10 fat quarters there. So that's going to be, is that two and a half meters? Yes, it is, two and a half. For 31 pounds 99. Just under three pounds 20 each there. And again, don't forget, you will be getting a solid green with this combination as well. Really, really lovely that. Nice little combination there. And then the last fat quarter bundle we have for you today is our Naturals fat quarter. And this comes to you in a wonderful little plastic bag. Keep it nice and safe. Um, and these are 100, but there's one of them's Hessian, which is this one here. So you're getting a hessian piece there and that beautiful smell of a jute hessian. It's absolutely lovely. It has been so popular. We've had these on a few times before and they keep selling out and it's been so popular. So that's what your hessian is there. Lovely, lovely smell to it as well. And you can see that's what a, a fat quarter looks like. These are 45 centimeters by 55. So that's your 100% hessian. Um, and then we've got 200% cottons. 200% um, cottons and one linen. Oh, no, sorry. We've got one, so that's your hessian. We've got 100% cotton as well. Beautiful, beautiful feel to this and a beautiful colorway. It's almost like if you can imagine vanilla ice cream with fresh vanilla pods and seeds. It's got that nice little dark dot in it all the way through. Beautiful, beautiful 100% cotton there. And then we've got two pieces of linen. Beautiful, beautiful pieces of linen there. It's got a gorgeous feel to it. So all four of these fat quarters in this bundle now are £8.99. Really, really lovely there. Now, if you are just joining us a little later in the day, we've had the most fantastic early bird today. These are our Gutman threads in a nostalgic tin combination. Really, really pretty. So you come with this nice little box here. I'll pop that there. And you get this wonderful tin. And if you open the tin up, you're getting eight different spools of thread, 100 meters in each one. These are 100% polyester. And they're a gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. I adore working with polyester. I only ever work with polyester thread. It's got a really strong tension to it. You can see it doesn't snap easily. It's got a great, great, great tension. It's great consistency on it. I just adore working with polyester thread. Loving these. And these are perfect for any form of piecing, perfect for your um, quilting. 
If you wanted to be doing some embroidery as well, absolutely lovely for that. You're getting eight spools there, 100 meters in each for £14.99. But imagine any one of these bundles that you're getting over here. I'm just looking, the greys, this would work perfectly with your grey combination here if I open this up and you'll be able to see all of the threads in there. All of those threads go with that beautiful grey combination there. Also, if you're doing your naturals co colour combination over here, you can see those work perfectly with those as well. Even if you were wanting to put a little bit of contrast in there to be able to get a bit of contrast to make everything pop on there, these are great. Make sure you check out your basket if you've got anything in there. We don't want you to be missing out, and these are only available while stocks last. So tomorrow's menu, we've got me tomorrow again, the Moda Kyoto Kimonos quilt with Sally Stevens. Block of the weeks, three and four, because it was Christmas last week. We've got two of those tomorrow. Then we've got the Creative Grids Hexagonal Trim Tool and the Stripey Stars, uh, Strippy Stars. And then we've got the Fabulous Fabrics. Uh, and then we've got the repeat of the So Difference Geo Dress Today with Faye. So that's gonna be all for tomorrow. Looking forward to that. And what a lovely show. I can't believe how much fabric we've had and all these wonderful books by Debbie. Make sure you do check out your basket as well. £3.95 all day, one day PNP. Won't be paying any more or any less. Thank you all so much for joining me today. It's been my absolute pleasure. And I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.